Doom, 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 doom. What am I doing? Dramatic music, fuck yeah. There we are. That's that YouTuber. Twitch up, YouTube, music. I think we're away. I think we're there. I think we're there. Oh, right, what have we got? We got two hours till manhunt. Two hours. In the meantime, coffee and biscuits. I do actually need some directors for this. Uh, volleyball, fragile, that one, that one. There we go. Two hours. Let's farm some Chesker. Let's see if we can get some decent pieces. Cat, stop it. Um, that was interesting. I swear I just fast traveled to here. the subway shooting people no you're not There's no one else. I'm gonna go for a bit of a longer range option. I've got a call for call for friends. We need friends. Help! Send friends! So this one is it.
Tools much. Come on. <clears throat> What's the music? Uh, this, that was... No, it still is. It's... Uh, Mozart Symphony. Have I read your comment under my last video? I, I th I've read a few. I'm still really bad at replying, by the way. Um... Mm -hmm. By a second, I to stop you going out of frame. Yeah, I'm trying to like. <clears throat> You're a bully. That's all I've got. Yeah. Yeah. I know today, I'm normally trying to start around this time. Doesn't always work out that way, but I normally try and start. It's like 7 a.m. my time, normally. Xander, coming in for the reach, mate. Subscribe for three months. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you so much. Between you and Elf, you're like paying the bills, man. Thank you so much. Not seen you in a while, Elf. I mean, I have been um, not playing as much Division lately, and I have noticed that you only really tend to stick around when playing Division. Or maybe you're just lurking or busy or whatever, but normally you only say anything when I'm playing Division. What's up with that? But how you doing? You, you popped in yesterday for a bit, and then I was like, hey, Elf, how you going? And then I never got a reply, and I was like, oh, okay, he's either really busy or looks like, I don't know. Are we, are we having a divorce? I mean, I'm aware we argue like husband and wife, but like, mostly busy playing less. <laughs> I just, I just, I was just expecting some divorce papers in the mail at some point soon. I was, I was kind of getting upset. I, I kind of actually miss having someone I could just beat my head against and they not get upset about it. It's quite funny. Like, I, I admit, like, I've had it a few times now where people come in, they're like, oh my god, you try this. And I'm like, yeah, but if you try X, Y, Z, you get a better result. And they're like, no! And it's like, can you actually give me a better answer or argument or, like, a discussion other than no! And that they can't. And it's like, where's Elf when you need him? If I'm going to have, like, an actual conversation like this, I need, like, someone who can actually put up an argument. Come on. Going to work in one hour? Ah oh, man, I really do start at like a shit time for a lot of people, don't I? Alright, that's that one captured. So then we'll be here. Although actually, I didn't actually check the area. Was there any loot? I didn't check the area. Whew. No, it's it's active for like an hour and a half. One more hour, fifty minutes, something like that. An hour and hour and fifty, something, something around there. Hour and 47 minutes left. No, doesn't appear to be a lot of loot drops. That was kind of disappointing. So now I've just wasted my time. Oh well. We're off to see the wizard. 
It's a flesh job, it's only three hours. I'm injured after many years in the army, so can't work that much. Yeah, fair one. Know those feels, bro. Know those feels. I'll let you be my financial advisor today. What should I spend those stars on? Do you have all of the named items that you need? If you have all of the named items that you need slash want or et cetera, et cetera, um, exotics, simply just because they have the most value at the moment. You don't necessarily need expertise, but considering how cheap it is, you might as bloody well. However, that being said, we don't exactly, like I said, don't need it. So if there's still like a few named items scattered about here, there, everywhere, you might as well try your luck. Who are you and where'd you come from? Testing stars. I think that's a bug because I've tested it as well and sometimes they stay, sometimes they go. Because I had seven left over from the last golden bullet. And when this golden bullet came, I had zero. But when I tested it previously to the last one, I, I actually started with something like 47 because I forgot to spend the remainder. Like, I completely numbed it, which is how I figured it out in the first place. I, I like, left the load. It seems really sporadic, and I don't like it. So I think it's a bug. Another one. Shock. Right, so Oh, that'll probably explain it. You're behind me. And now you've fucked me. Agent killed. Uh A one, I have zero system well, I've like two pieces of system corruption, so the answer to that would be no. But not out of spite, more I don't have it. Or honestly, like, what part isn't working? Wait, where the fuck did you come from? Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. The um, now that we have that instant use med kit, I kind of feel like system corruption has been um, <laughs> fucked over. Oh yes, like when, when we introduce, what was it they said? Like when we introduce new gear set, like we 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 have to like think of all like the limitations and the 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 connections and how they all interact with each other. I know we'll introduce an instant med kit, which is the exact same thing we have an entire gear set's purpose to do. Um, I don't think you need to worry about that, devs, because clearly you're no good at it. <laughs> Stop fucking doing it. You're clearly no good at it. They're running a bit far, aren't they? Hey, Ralph, if you're still here, I've got one for you. Right, golden bullet. It's a accuracy, well, just overall weapon handling buff, right? And obviously damage buff. Does it give optimal range? Anyone fucking know? It's kind of hard to tell because the way you give the damage buff. And from what I can tell, no one can actually fucking agree on how much that damage buff actually is. No, I kind of feel like on occasion, like there's moments where I'm sort of like, yeah, Golden Bullet's got to be given optimal range as well. But then other times it's like, nah, I think it's just, it's just like the way it, it's definitely an amplifier. So like depending on the build I've got and how it's operating at that time with the buffs in play, bloody, bloody, blah. It, it, I don't think it's giving optimal range. I'm just getting more damage than I originally tested or thought. And also, an another vein is like, why, why would the devs even consider optimal range? I don't think they even understand how half of their own game works, to be perfectly honest. So I very much doubt they'd be doing that. But I just wondered if like, anyone had tested that. Have I made any changes to my builds? I think the only build that I've changed recently is... This one, and I'm still just looking for the backpack because it's got headshot on it. But other than that, we have, you know what? Let's let's rename them. We got Terry Prickshet because I don't like Terry Pratchett. Pratchett, so we call him Terry Pritchett. Headhunter's Fury for Madarasha because you know we need all the ammo and the LMG. Yetus Deletus. This one does need to change. Um, I need. I actually don't know. Do we? We do actually. Why am I? And then that should be crit damage. Crit damage. Right, we're gonna be like massively over. With 60. Good chance, good chance. Just change that. Let's change that to crit damage and then change that to fucking stability. 52. 
There we are. Wait. How does that go from... No, that's because I'm looking at the wrong fucking weapon. 52 to 57. There we are. Cool. And we really shouldn't be using... Killer. We should be using... Something else. Don't actually know what. I don't think I've got like... Although... If we do that... There we are. Win win. Does more. So. There we are. There's that one. Um. I don't think this one's changed at all. Other than, yeah. I mean, you can optimize your damage to armor now. Um, hummer, hummer, hummer. No, that one's fine. Yeah, this got changed. This literally just got changed over to an F2000 with preservation on. That was literally it. And I've got a uh, this preferably. I think it should be a Banshee. I think Vector's dead now, right? But I don't think the difference is that large. Um, yeah, the mechanical animal build. Oh, is this a th Why does it do this? What did I even change over that has freaking chems on it? Oh, that one. So that's fine. Regular headhunter, that's fine. That's fine. Only thing you could really change here would be changing this to electric. That's fine, that got changed over to... I'm using Steel Splinter for this one, but this one's more for damage. Um, the overall difference between this and an ACR is like 2%. Um, I prefer... This was... Uh, Cheska? No, Coyotes with a Cheska backpack. But after a little bit of fucking around with it, I actually preferred the Memento setup. So I swapped those two around. So I went from Coyotes and Cheska Vigilance to Cheska Mask and Memento. I very rarely play this build anyway. Like, if I do, it's because I'm so bored, it's unreal. Uh, PFE, I don't think has changed. The only thing I need to do is, like, optimize the um, actual armor on the pieces. And hopefully try and get some more 13% PFEs. Um, Oreo Hunter's Fury hasn't changed at all. And, oh yeah, I've made toasties. I seem to, like, obviously get the um, two-piece Habsburg. But... Because that would be more ideal, but yeah. That's it. That's all I've changed. F2000, it's by like half a percent. It's more just I prefer the feel of it. At least on all of the builds that I have here, I have mapped them all out. Um, not on this one, because of where I'm running for contractors. Um, I end up losing too much on the crit side. Um, but on this one, it does, I think it was like 0.8% more. F2000 does more than uh, FAMAS. And then on this one... Um, it was specifically because I'm using Shield Splinter over a Famas with Optimist. It ends up being like 1.5% more. But without it being Shield Splinter, it was like 0.5%. Like, yeah, like literally half a percent.
Yeah, we're just comparing nukes once again. Uh, for me, though, I actually do prefer the handling of F2000 over FAMAS. Like, I do genuinely prefer it. So, we can look at it as just comparing nukes, which is mostly pointless, but I do prefer the handling. <clears throat> For a regular headshot, is Hasbro Chess better with a Hasbro backpack? No. Regulus is a pistol. If you're doing two-piece Hasbro, that's that's MMR. You're in the wrong weapon category, I'm afraid. Yeah, all na reg the standard regiments is all, yeah. So, where's Reggie, my boy? Alright, this one. The only real change you can make here is this to Contractor's Gloves. That's it. I'm using Walker and Harris, two-piece Walker and Harris. The only change you can make here would be this to, Walker, to uh, Contractor's. That's it. Everything else here is kind of set in stone. <clears throat> Main, minus maybe the backpack, because of where it's 15% headshot. You can just go with a normal Vigilance backpack where, for, from Providence and get the exact same rolls with normal Vigilance. Sure, you could also do Habsburg, but now you're looking for a unicorn still. Just stick with this. First, first roll is still 15% headshot, which is going to be the same as Habsburg, but Providence comes with a red core. Hasbro comes with a blue, more variety, easier to farm. Contractors, foxes, again, I'm running two-piece, Walker and Harris. Dogs and Hardin's kind of stuck, Walker, um, Dodge City, kind of stuck. Hey, Paradox. And then if we go to Headhunters, Fury, again, Providence is going to be, like, the easier option because it's it comes with red. <clears throat> it So you can go... Habsburg here, but again, you're farming for a unicorn. You could go Habsburg here and have like 30% headshot because 15 there, 15 there, but now you're still searching for a unicorn. If you really wanted to like mix this up, your best bet is to go DNH. And the difference between going like DNH with Headhunter or DNH rather than this for the 50% headshot is it's literally just all about how quickly and efficiently you gain those stacks. And to be perfectly honest, now that we're able to put Detoc on Regulus and play the ultimate game of fuck around and find out within Division 2, it, it really doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, the main reason I don't is because I still like to rely on my um, shotgun on occasion. So I'm going to be losing, like, essentially 15... No, it ends up being about 8% damage on shotgun. And if I miss a shot and need to go into utilizing a, a higher ratio of damage, that's why I've got the uh, FAL here with strained, just in case. It should be optimist, realistically, but I'm an idiot. I, if, I, if I was to use DNH chest, um, my overall performance with how I play would decrease quite a bit. Essentially, if you're going to go for a DNH piece, you only really want to use the shotgun to gain like initial stacks, and that's if you need it. Most of the time, now that we can expertise 25, bloody bloody blah, blah, with all the uh, stack gaining and like putting detox on shit, we just don't need it. But if at any real point you ever swap off of Regulus well, when you're running a DNH piece, it is just the net loss. You might as well just go back to Chain Killer. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. it. It will just end up being a net loss.
My six piece strikers with all blue claws and a chameleon. <laughs> hey, solo. <laughs> It's weird seeing you on the YouTube side, Silo. You're all right. How are you doing over there? So I use, I prefer the um, Headhunter's Fury, but I tend to stick to Chain Killer because it's 5% weapon damage. It's, it's everywhere. It's fine. There's no one else. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? No, do. Does anyone know the words to the rest of that bit? Because all I, all I do is I go, nya, 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 nya. I don't know the actual words. I just sort of make noises and hope for the best. Got to get a new set of Hunter's Fury for that build. The Head Hunter's Fury. That one. With all the headshots. It's really fun. I love it, but I hate it. I love it because, like, it's like a genuine challenge for me. But I hate it just because I get into a groove in this game. I'm like, oh, it's so easy. I'll start playing some Head Hunter's Fury. And then I'm dead. And I'm like, I fucking hate my life. Do you, do you mind? Stands up, instantly pumped, staggers, dead. Oh, cheers, dickhead. <clears throat> I want to get one of them for this. Skill issue? That was skill issue. I ignore, I completely ignored the ad behind. That was the, the only one that had the special ammo. And also had the fire grenades. <clears throat> and if I went that side, I would have had more cover. I That was skill issue on my... Complete skill issue on my part. I literally went to the fucking retard side rather than the side that would have given me the best advantage. What the? You spawn in here? No, you're spawning there. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm gonna actually play a bit a little bit closer to uh Nope, you missed nothing. You missed nothing. Don't worry about it. Play a little bit cover to like a, a loop where I can a little bit closer to an area where I can loop cover, it's a lot easier. Who are these guys getting involved? What do you want?
Silo, Silo, are you writing like a country epic or something? Hey, Simon. Just complete, mate, I wish I could fucking... The furthest I've got is the hovercraft. Someone's propping Golden Bullet over here. What was his ass like? Whoop! Oh! I think it's the, no, I don't know, the, that's the part that I'm worried about, is the chorus, because it's like, where'd you come from, where'd you go, where'd you come from, Cat9 Joe, Joe, I've been married a long time ago, where'd you come from, where'd you go, where'd you come from, Cat9, like, it's that little bit in the middle, just sort of like, meh, 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 it just, I feel like Porky Pig from Looney Tunes, that's all, folks. <laughs> Uh, the unicorns are like potentially some of the most powerful pieces in the game, especially when playing solo. Oh, le matna le matto dore de, le matto dore. It's a shit one. Yeah, but now imagine if you had like. Palisade, that's 20% armor on kill. And if you get one of them there, sexo unicorns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? That's it? I am so disappointed, right? So, like, you're, you're banned. I am so disappointed. That is that is literally all it is. Wow. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd be... I mean, yeah, they could have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 def, I mean, Def Cups for 5.11, so... <sighs> yeah, 20k, yeah. Toast is one of them. I've got an unstoppable false unicorn, I think, somewhere. What just blew up and fucking wiped me? Are we doing, uh, mate, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit on the struggle bus. We're on day two with no vape. Day two with no vape. Complete cold turkey. So, uh... Mm, I actually feel pretty good. Yesterday evening was a struggle. I don't know what, like, la last night from, like, nine o'clock onwards, it was like, I'm gonna stab someone. But I woke up, like, absolutely fucking fine. Fresh as a daisy. Didn't give a crap. Setting 
No, you're not. This is going to be an annoying one where you just well, I've got to run back and forth because they're spawning at different sides every fucking time. Where are you coming from? Over there. And then you're coming from over here. I like cold turkey on toast. I mean, that's a... I've never actually seen an elite territory in this location before. That's interesting. Yeah, 43 with no vape, no big deal. Yeah, all right, Simon. Quit smoking. Well, technically, I quit smoking like four years ago. Three years ago, I'm I'm now quitting the vaping. I'm aware, like complete non-smokers don't see the difference, but as someone that had smoked for like fifteen-ish years and then went to vaping, trust me, there is a fucking huge difference. For one, I don't stink when I walk into your house. I like cold turkey on toast with some mayonnaise, mayonnaise. But yeah, we're trying to move up in the world. We're trying, we're trying. Oh, now you changed your tune, didn't you, Simon? Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, Simon? You don't smoke. You fucking will when I set you on fire. Yeah, I wish I never started, honestly. Although I say that, there were some times when shit hit the fan. You know, on tour, everything's just gone wrong. And you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Get your canteen out, have a sip of water, light a cigarette and just be like, this is the fucking end. I'm going to love it. That's like the only time I've genuinely not like hated being a smoker. Oh, look at that fucking loot. Cheers, game. And then smell, yeah, you can taste and smell the food again. <laughs> but, so some locations or events. Bounty spam, yeah. I miss my uh, bounty spam at Constitution Hall. It, it really upsets me. Excuse me, I'm here to, I'm here to uh, fix your video. Mate, they didn't fix shit, go away. You know for a fact they didn't fix shit. Wait, are you telling me I just started getting shot from behind? So I turn around and, oh, look. Oh, now they come from back downstairs. Come on, there's like two of you left. No, you need to stop being a Girl Scout. And fucking move.
Oh yeah, there's definitely like a few things that are absolutely constant in this world, and that is, you know, everyone's gonna die, Ubisoft is shit. Mate. What do you mean incoming? Oh my god, they're still going. I thought, I'd get, I thought I did these guys. I thought they were done. Is that it? We're good now. Turning fog of war off. Or on, I should say. Giggity. Giggity. Someone's going to clip that and then send it to a certain person and be like, ha 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 ha. Right. Fine. <clears throat> Oh wow, look at that. But yeah, I feel like the devs have messed with like a few things and I don't like it. Some of them are actually good things. I just don't like them because like I'm used to this game now for like the past five years. I'm used to it. And now they're changing things. And I'm like, I don't like it, Derek. I don't like it. Why are you changing shit? My feelings and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> you thought I'd think something low. Reinforcements <laughs> incoming. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Uh, because the their normal blind was blinding in real fucking life as well. Get blinded in, in game, get blinded IRL. I prefer it, although I have no... It's very jarring and strange. But yeah, I, I personally do actually prefer it. Because it doesn't hurt my eyes. But I am also like ridiculously kind of lined with like weird sight issues and crap. But at the same time, it was also, it, like I said, it's very jarring. Like it really does catch you off guard. Like, oh shit, fucking hell, black screen. We good? Oh, I saw you. I saw you. There you are. Um. Um. Help. Help. That bug's still there. <laughs> Help. Help. Well, I suppose I'm out of combat. No, I'm not. Where's this guy gone? There we are. Just one shotgun dude going for a friggin' run around because, you know, they've got the IQ of... 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 
of a really smart thing. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> but there, there's another bug. That's actually one I hadn't tested before. There, yeah, that's another one confirmed. The uh, fucking Bullet King running out of magical ammo. That's that's still a thing. Awesome. Supply room access unlocked. Reservoir. Our bar is full squares. That means you're in combat. I use the mini map. But I forgot that I've got Fog of War on. And sometimes with those, the reason we use the minimap is sometimes that armor thing, like, like you just said, like that is correct. But sometimes you're able to actually switch build at certain intervals while your armor is still big squares. There's like a little... There's like a, a timing gap kind of thing we used to exploit it when um i say exploit um bully it i suppose you could say is a better term um when using or doing legendary dua there's a way in which you can get round it mate my bullet king's out of ammo Why is Bullet... How is Bullet King out of ammo? <laughs> Palmic! Yeah, most of the time my armor's gone, so no one gives a fuck. No, Bullet King is still out of ammo. Someone help. Someone help. Mate, I, I think I might just need to reload altogether. Someone help. Bullet King is out of ammo. How, how does this happen? Alright. So that's all these lovely control points done. And we got like minimal to nothing for it. Cause it just damn sucks to be you. So happy I finally got my Bullet King to reload speed. Oh mate, reload speed Bullet King is where it's at. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Wish the wife would wake up and make me another coffee and then give me my forehead kisses that let me know that she's still alive in the morning. I really like... My, my day typically starts with like forehead kisses and a coffee. I, I, I really like it. I'm, I'm quite a child. So this is the little things. And then we're going to do some manhunt when that comes out in like an hour's time. See how that goes. If there's targeted loot, hopefully it could be something decent and fun to do. If not, I have no idea what the fuck we're going to do. But we've got the weekly reset, so hopefully the weekly reset will be pretty good. Goodly, goodly, good. So we've got the weekly project. We've got targeted loot coming in. We've got the manhunt. Uh, it should be legendary Manning Zoo, which could be interesting with a bit of matchmaking going on. We'll see how that works out. Um, I 
Oh no! I've been pedoed. Send help. Right, who's got golden bullet? Uh, I, I had, uh, like, I think it was like 60, 70, 60, 78 or something like that. 68 or 78, I can't remember, before starting today. And, yeah, I, I basically did nothing, and I've got, like, another 8 now. I think it was 68, I think I had 68, and now I've got another, another 8 here. Oh, I've got an exotic there I hadn't claimed, there we are. I'm only really just down day one. But yeah. <clears throat> I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. The apartment. Let's go. Get out. <clears throat> Get out now. <laughs> Don't bury me, <nothing. laughs> No. Oh, say, can you see? No, I'm blind, but fuck me. I feel like negotiating is like a hidden little trick when it comes to like golden bullet because even on like the um, the crit share on the kill, ooh, it still procs it. Excuse me, kind sir, would you mind just very ever so slightly dying? Thank you. Getting close to 10k. Oh, yeah, you weren't 10k yet. Ooh. You get in there, Pom Pom. You get in there. You get in there. Whoa. He's nearly there. Copyright. It's going to kill me one day. Just because I'm lay curious. Hey, Freezy, not much. How are you doing today? How high does it go? Come on. Oh, 
So is that was that what was final numbers? And then let me see. Oh, I've still got the stack on. What about now? Is it still got the stack on? No. Look at this with 200k. That's pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, with um, Ouroboros just testing it. Got apartment burnout, harmony, contractors, punch drunk, door kickers knocked. I've never really used that. How many hours have I spent in the shooting range? Surprisingly, not a lot. Shooting range is pretty terrible just for overall general purposes and use and etc. etc. Process calm, zero S liquid engineer. Hmm. Only keeping the apartment in Frocious Calm. One crit roll on it. Fair one. Hulk! How's it going, buddy? Remember when Frocious Calm was good? It's still is kind of good. There's just so many other things that are generally used in better scenarios. Or more optional in a variety of scenari scenarios. Better fit. Better fit. Fuck it. Words. Words are hard this morning. We got some more bloody knuckles. Yeah. Fucking Hulk. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you very much. Jesus. Why would you do this to me? Yeah, range is bad. Unless you're looking for individual damage numbers, testing a mechanic, or just trying to either show off or show how much you don't know, go to the range. That's literally it. Show off to friends, prove a point of you don't know what you're doing. Individual damage numbers, like if you're looking for like a maximum pesty tick. This is like where the range can come in handy. Like, that's it. And then we go over here and we put this to Mate, he always does. Also got a Wow. Aren't aren't you a bully, Druid? Aren't you a bully? Uh, is that unstoppable force at max? Get us unstoppable force at max. We'll just let that one just. Yeah, that one's just gonna. Oh, yeah, that's my maximum pesty tick. It's basically the only thing the range is good for. <laughs> Back by worth it? I've it is as long as you're either running. A glass cannon chest, perfect glass cannon preferably, or no damage talent on the chest whatsoever. So if you're not running glass cannon or you're running unbreakable, there's no point. Other than that, the only real use that Lengmo actually even gets is on this build with Pestilence. That's literally it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> but that's like, this is like literally it. What else we got? Mm, can't be bothered with more chess, girl. You know what? Let, let, cause someone's just said they got a, a let's let's try. Should we should we should we like hope for a backbone? That one that one drop that we've we've worked our asses off towards. That one drop, God, it's a, it's not a backbone. We we we, we quit. Wow, 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 fuck you, Pomic. Yep, yep. 
I, I, no, no. <laughs> there are bounties in Constitution Hall today. How? How? How did you get? You get like no bounties in Constitution Hall. How? Like, I think that's impossible. That burned because I'm retarded. <laughs> Hold up, let me just bully these guys real quick. Why do I feel like I just get, I take so much more fucking damage than I should be? But the armor on kill from Hunter's Fury just isn't, doesn't seem to be applying all the time or something, I don't know. It's like, I used to be able to take like three or four shotgun hits, and now I just take like two and I'm like, oh, okay. I'll just sit down here then. Right. Druid, any, I mean, they're not here at the moment, but if you get any public executions in this area, normally, like, in here is really good. They spawn here quite a lot. You would get a bounty over here. That's actually where this bounty is from. I did the public execution here. I picked up the bounty, and look, there it is over in Constitution Hall. So any True Sons bounties in this area, and just in case, like, when you highlight something... They are in the top left. It says public execution, activity, true sons, material drops. So you do true sons. He, this area here, um, because I've actually, I've, I think I've done the invaded. This has now has like a 50-50 chance. Either I will get, oh, it's fucked off now. Either I would have got the bounty in this area, or it also would have gone to here. Basically, any true sons, do a public execution in these three areas. In, in here, here, here. Make sure they're true sons. And it will give you bounties in this area. As well as in this area, you will often find you get quite a lot of public executions. There aren't actually, doesn't seem to be any at the moment, which is weird. But you normally get a repeat spawning one around here. There's another one that spawns up around here. There's one that spawns around here. And one that spawns around here. Is it here? I think it's here. Yeah, it's like here-ish. So you get one, two, three, four. And you can just run around. There's also another one here that's also True Sons. These ones are normally hyenas. So that would be like... This can be hi uh, True Sons or hi Outcasts. This one's normally Outcasts. This one's normally Outcasts. This one's normally either hyenas or Outcasts, weirdly. But these, all of these will give you a bounty in this area. True Sons bounties in this area and this area have a chance to give you bounties. It depends on, like, the invaded status. I can't remember how it works entirely. But this area will be giving you uh, uh, bounties in either this area or this area. Same with this one. Sometimes you can get... It de again, it depends on invaded or whatever else is going on. But if you do executions in this area, you'll either get a bounty that spawns, like here which is weird or it'll be here however all of them every bounty that you will get in this area will be here it will be like we can even although i know i've actually captured everything now so Uh, 
Oh, yeah, he's there. Hi, Bob. Yeah, dropped a bounty. Looted it. Oh, it's a Black Tusk bounty that's over here. There you are. It's just a Black Tusk bounty. What are you? You're Danny. I didn't do any of the vendors this time around. Video goes up to 4K quality now. It, I think I uploaded it in 2K. So I've no idea how the fuck that's working. Bouncy target lost, good. There you are, look, there you are. Public execution. It's true sons, as you can see, hopefully. <sighs> Do I have my actual... No. There we are. I think it's hit registration. I'm literally putting like magazines into people and like, yeah, I think it's hit registration that's fucking me. I literally put so many bullets into those two guys and nothing, nothing. Well, there goes that demonstration. That's kind of fucked it. Oh, there's another one. That'll do. But then hit registration and golden bullet at this point go hand in hand. Golden bullet or mate, it's fucking... I didn't even have golden bullet. Like, I have never... Like, it was a purple. I put, like, a magazine and a half into him and he was just like, nah, mate, I'm good. It's like only half my hits are registering or something. I don't know what it is. Like, should only have like that level of issue if it was a named elite on this. It's a level fucking, yeah. Even with like no stacks. MPX looks sick though. Not gonna lie, MPX is a uh, pretty good looking weapon. To be fair, yeah. Does anyone else think like like backfire? Like genuinely, anyone else think backfire looks fucking awesome? No? Mate, backfire looks awesome. What's wrong with you? One. Chucky. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Oh, I'm a bug. I'm a bug. We're on the boat. Send help. It's now consumed all of my armor kits for no apparent reason. <laughs> and we're at stack three. Armor bug, top tier. Let's 
Excuse me, sir. Would you mind giving me your fucking golden bullet? Don't even know where half of you fucking coming from. Oh, there's an LMG gunner. But where are you? Is that you? That's you. Dick. Chucky! Oh, there, there goes the... Like, just in case anyone's... Because I remember someone saying it. Like, the uh, like people weren't getting the armor bug. Well, there you are. I've used a total of somehow, magically, six armor kits now. And, yeah, I... Ugh. Yes! Right, talk to this guy. Pick up the bounty. And just for you, Stable Druid, bounty is all over there. In Constitution Hall. There are. So there's literally no reason. Like, if you, it's one of the main reasons I mostly always play around these areas. Because you can get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I've got twenty-one here. I actually had more yesterday. This is a lot less. Some of them disappear over time. Um, but yeah. Some I don't know why or how or what happens, but yeah. Um, so hopefully, because it's obviously true son, uh, true patriot. But like I don't know, say Palisade drops here or Lengmo, right? Oh my god, I've got all these bounties that I can spam through. If Lengmo drops here. But yeah. That's why I spam these three areas all the time. And I've tried to do public executions as much as possible. Yeah, we get to keep armor bug. Armor bug's still there. Dodd's breaking the game again? Not really. One of the more recent patches put a cap on the number of bounties you can have. The cap's been there for a while. And there, there, there's always been a cap. Um, no one can really decide on how big that cap is, though. Because as you... As the game just, like, stores information, things get lost. Um, the most I have personally had is 35. And then I looked in the next day, because I hadn't used any. And I had, like, 22 of them. They, they disappear. I, I currently have the armor bug. Like, I used like six med kits, I think, at this point, and I, just, yeah, armor bug. In fact, can't you actually? Because armor bug doesn't disappear if you don't. If you. So if you go over it, it just deletes the last one. Well, there is that, but like as time goes on, it deletes. They delete anyway. It's like they've got. They, it's like they only last for a certain duration. I, I've I've heard some people say they've had like forty plus stored up. Um, can neither confirm nor deny. I don't know. They annoy me when people do these things. They don't provide screenshots. Um, but I think Toasty currently has like thirty saved up. Oh, I'm, I've got I've got my armor's been returned. Brilliant. 45 with Ikea's, yeah. You can get, like, a serious amount, but then, like, the next day you log in, uh, the game might just decide four of them, bye-bye, for some random reason. Don't know why. I've never known a bounty to last longer than two weeks. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, I don't know why two weeks seems to be the magical thing. But, other than that... Okay, he just shot me four times. Look how much damage he did. Oh, well, I healed it. But yeah, like, Jesus. Well, I'm, I've got... I'm, Mostly notice it when I'm well because I'm always typically playing this, but I've got twenty percent armor on kill. Like 
I don't know. I don't know what causes it. It's it's definitely there's well there's definitely got to be a trigger. There has to be a trigger that just decides. By the way, good luck with your armor. But yeah, what that trigger is, I am not too sure. But there is definitely a trigger. Anyway, I need to take a quick break because my hip is kind of killing, so I need to go stretch it off. So I will be back in about 10 minutes. I need to just do a, a nice leg stretch. And yeah, I'll see you in about 10 minutes.
would be Legacy Spikes. I mean, could be. Well, new BRB screen, got help from Toasty? No, actually, I, I sat there for like 20 minutes and tried to figure it out. I'm now trying to... Uh... make a I'm trying to figure out like if I can make like a, uh, a clip so that like I don't know like it's like a 30 second clip of where I can put it up and have it like a stream starting stream ending kind of thing um, I still have to manually do it like I have to move my mouse from the game to move my mouse from the game and then click on it manually to do it but you know um, I'll sort out like macros and shit and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah and another time. Piece of cake. Sadly, it's not the female body. <laughs> I need some cake. All right. Annoyingly, we are just wasting time. Twenty-seven minutes. Twenty-seven minutes. And then we can have a quick look at targeted loot after twenty-seven minutes. Was it 27? Was it 27 hours? It's 27 hours. Anyone seen that? Was it 27 hours? 28 hours. Mount Booty be called then. Bread? No, no, no. The, the breadsticks, the other one, Druid. And if it's particularly... Um... Yeah, we call it Le Baguette. So all, all I've just seen there was a bunch of absolute fucking horseshit. The fact that you have to contemplate about this worries you? Why? I'm I'm married, and have you seen what I'm married to? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Druid. Druid. Yeah. Yeah, Druid, like, you, you can ask him. He's out, he's fucking out front about it, man. <laughs> it originally came up because, I don't know, over here in the UK, we use, the, we use the word gay for something that's, like, stupid, annoying. We don't actually mean it as, like, an insult to homosexual people. So if something like if something's like annoying, I go, oh fuck's sake, that's gay, and obviously, culturalization, different areas, bloody bloody bar, people perceive it differently. And Drew was like, "What do you mean by this?" So I explained it to him, and he was like, oh, "Okay, well, just just let you know, like I I am actually like well, over here, like we just call it gay, but like I I am." I was like, oh, "Okay, never mind. I don't mean it like that." Like the insults that we use over here are very different. Um, like, like, bumlord and batty, they're like the insult ones. Uh, if someone's gay, we just refer to them as homosexual. We're very, you know, we're, we're British over here. We use the actual word for it. Um, and the, the, uh, the hate speech F word that Americans are so weird about over here is food. It's food. 
yeah, there's, there's a breakdown of, like, yeah. Or at least the way I was brought up, anyway. It's one of the reasons I find the whole LGBTQ really funny. I'm like, what does the G stand for? They're like, gay. And I'm like, why are you trying to give rights to stupid people? They're like, what? <laughs> like... <gasps> Should it be like LH? Just spitball in here. Detecting additional hostile contacts. I just got rinsed. If someone clips that out of context, that's a very good way to get me fucking cancelled, I just realised. Oh well. And the tone in the intent of the word usage? Yeah, there is that as well. Pretty much, yeah. But, but they, they, they have to segregate because otherwise, like, what the? Were we just getting invaded by Minecraft there? Asking for a friend. There's, well, gay is a, well, gay is a sexuality, right? Like, it's just another word for homosexual. It's just a sexuality. Gay is a sexuality. Lesbian is a label given to females that are gay. It's just a label. So what's the label that men get that are gay? Hey, uh, Druid, this is your, this is your time to shine, because lesbian is a label for feet for gay females. You need to come up with a. You need to come up with the label for. Gay men. Pluses for everything else? Heterosexual. Wait, no, 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 that's not allowed. Pluses for everything else apart, apart from straight white men. Just saying. <laughs> or actually just men in general, I suppose, really. <laughs> straight men. No, not allowed. Bye. <laughs> We need a fancy name for straight. We do. It's called the oppressor. Don't you know this? God.
non-binary. I, I don't even know what those any of them are. I read one the other day. I've forgotten what it's called. It's, it, it, it means you're bisexual, but you're really picky, so you tend to just go with the opposite sex. And I'm just like, you've come up with a weird and wacky way just to say that you're fucking straight. Trans are biological males and females now aren't even disqualified. Yeah, I know, but there's like, there's one of them where it's like, I've forgotten what it's called. It's, it says like you're bi, but you, you, you have a preference over one or the other. Oh, we've got, we've got John F. Kennedy's inaugural speech. There we are. Like, I'm actually being serious. Like... Heteroflexible, and I'm I'm being serious. It means you're bi, but you would prefer to be one or the other. And it's like that. We we have we already have a word for this. It's called fucking straight. <laughs> it's like what are you? <laughs> it's so I I I really don't get it. I really don't. I am sorry. I don't. I, I, I find it very weird, I won't lie. Yes, the pans have had their pan jokes. I was I was trying very hard not to be like, oh wait, I thought pansexuals just get in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, but yeah. As long as it's consensual. I mean, we're always going to need a label. I won't lie. Always going to need a label. Otherwise, someone's going to get hurt. And, well, it's already happened before, like, several times. Several. Oh, this is that song that's like three and a half minutes of just silence, and then it just... Yeah. thing is labels are actually kind of what keeps our society going forward and progressing and being safe sorry <laughs> we, we kind of need them the problem is at the same time if we have so many labels that we can't fucking move, we might as well just not have labels and we end up sort of like in a uh, a dystopian flip of it and it just ends up being worse. Labels and people, not quite the same thing. Well, we've already seen the uh, harm that lad lad logic does. When, um, what was it? The, uh, I think it was actually in the US, <laughs> I think. Um, bunch of men that identified as women got put into a, uh, into a female only prison where they, like, raped a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. 
kind of might want it to have stit stuck with the original labels on that one. <laughs> Is it really bad, Axel? I I fully understood what you read but i read that in the warhammer 40k way of monkey of how the eldari speak to just humans in general but it's not actually a derivative of the word monkey it's their language for stupid or intel unintelligent and yeah um I, i'm 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 a nerd i need to stop reading warhammer 40k apparently jesus christ <laughs> If that's a label or insult or compliment. Um, oh, are you are you are you in a uh, diehard? Well, often I just unga bunga. I mean, possible. Thing is, how how are we, how are we rating being an arsehole? See, I've got my own little world that I like to live in, and I'm happy in my own little world. And even if I like and respect someone, if the way in which you think or feel or act infringes on my little world, I really couldn't give a fuck. Get out! <laughs> like, that's just me. The same that I have no right to infringe on your little world. You don't have a right to infringe on my little world. And if you think that you can, um, you're not going to have a good time. And But that's just me. In Monster Hunter, Final Fantasy, and WoW, monkey, monkey, monkey. What's today's loot? Uh, today's loot, we don't know. We're going to find out in 11 minutes. At least everybody's got one of those. Yeah, everyone, everyone's got an arsehole. It's one of the main reasons why when um when in Afghan, everyone's basic punishment, regardless of rank, was latrine duty. Do you want to know why? Because regardless of rank, race, colour, creed, skin, country of origin, bloody blah, blah, everyone's shit stinks. Everyone's shit stinks so you fucked up on fucking in afghan everyone's first punishment latrine duty and i guess we could tell you what no one fucked up twice no one <laughs> Mate, latrine duty is fucking horrible. Oh, mate. We used to just oil it and pack it. The Americans used to burn it, <laughs> which I thought was really stupid. <laughs> You're burning oil and shit, right? 
that's going to give you some serious fucking lung problems, right? And then, lo and behold, like, six to eight years later, a bunch of fucking American soldiers are, like, coming in with, like, serious respiratory issues and being like, uh, excuse me, and then they're getting massive payouts. It's not funny, because it's like, it's like a... I, I'm not laughing at them, because it's like, it's very painful, a lot of them died, it was it was horrible. Well, no, you oil it beforehand to, yeah. Like, so many of them. I've forgotten what it's called. It got, like, a full-on, like, new classification of, like, illness. And it's all because the Americans felt like burning their shit. <laughs> How's the stream going so far? Not too bad. Ron Swanson. That's a really weird name to say. Ron Swanson. I don't want to say Ron Swanson Bronson. Bunch of whiny bit. <gasps> Silo, you must know. You were in around that fucking time. What what was the disease that was caused by Americans burning their own shit? Come on, you must know. Do my own thing, take care of myself. Yeah. I think it was Ligma. I don't think it was a Ligma. Can't find it. There were like some serious problems caused by it though. Burnt, yeah. Burn pit injuries. Like, they would like, like, you'd like get start getting like headaches, nausea, etc, etc. And then like, a couple years down the line, you're coughing your frigging guts up. And from what I recall, that there was basically no cure for it. And a lot of, um... I feel like, wasn't it like a lot of actual, like, US branches had to be closed down in order to pay off, like, the amount of, like, fucking suing they were getting. Like, a load of people were suing. Not too sure why I dropped that. That's a bit weird. I don't actually recall what it was. The respiratory was later in life. I mean, yeah, could be. I remember it became like a serious problem, though. Like a genuine serious problem. Oh, I'm a bug. Again. Chuck. Just someone gets the right answer. And I think Silo's right. I think I don't think it had like 
a specific... I think I'm probably just misremembering this, but I don't think it had, like, a specific illness it was causing. It was just sort of, like, if you were a little bit prone to the tuberculosis, you got the fucking tuberculosis to end all tuberculosis kind of thing. Like, I don't think it was, like, a specific type of illness. I think it just sort of made your lungs a little bit shitter and weaker. So that if you got a common cold, a common cold could fuck you kind of thing. Can't run out of money as long as there's ink in the printer. Yeah, fair point. Well, actually, now if you look at the, if you look at the American finance system now, I think actually it's um, I, I think they're actually approaching the uh, the British economy in terms of oh we fucked up guys, yeah, standard respiratory disease yeah, and then whatever like thing you got on afterwards just fucked with it. <coughs> oh. So, yeah, but. I remember it being like a serious problem because like out of the woodwork basically all the soldiers that had done any form of uh, burn pit duty and I like, suddenly hang on I can't fucking breathe Yeah, the dollar's, like, really gone down in value. That's why, um, a lot of the... <clears throat> I'm remembering, like, a year and a bit ago, so it might have changed, but... At one point, the, um... A lot of the, uh... Since like Afghan, Iraq and all whatnot, a lot of the Middle Eastern countries would trade in the US dollar. But now they've... The dollar got so weak, it was uh, more beneficial for them to trade in Russian ruples, I think it was. And then after the dollar got weak enough, they changed to... I think quite literally Saudi gold. I think. And then once the Saudi gold got high enough, they started building... I don't know, if everyone, has everyone seen the plans? I think they've actually started building it. It's called The Line. Um, it's like a city in Saudi Arabia. It's just it's this one big mirrored line. Yeah, once that, got, once that got high enough due to the amount of trade, due to the American dollar falling, they started building that fucking city. Line thing. Which is also doomed to fail, which I find really funny. Yeah, but there's a reason that most cities are built in like a spherical sh shape. If you look at most cities, like they have a city centre and everything kind of spider webs out from that. Oh, oh, there we are. What we got? We got Murakami, Empress, Golan, Richter and Kaiser, Hardwired, Brazos, some shit there. Ah, oh, Legmo. Although Habsburg over in this area, that could be pretty interesting. If I get any cube, I'm going to climb into a mountain cliff, lay down, stare at the sun, rise and play. May I stand unshaken? I, I don't understand that. Ligma in the bank, yeah. Probably the best thing that here is uh, Habsburg in this area. This is not a bad area to farm. Right. Time to farm Hasberg. Wait, 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 wait. Sleeping Giant is on... Well, yeah, Sleeping Giant's one of the easiest, yeah. Arg, arg. Time. 
Right, we are we are gonna uh, be uh, so we can actually chill and enjoy the manhunt. It's not often we get new content. I say new, it's not really. Tumarika Boom, thank you very much for the follow four minutes ago. Sorry, I missed that. How are you doing today? All right, so manhunt, <gasps> waterfront. My favorite. Waterfront's around this way, isn't it? I swear it's this way. Like this, I swear it's that one right there. Looking at the dollar index, it's on the highest general level. Look at it globally, though. Look at it globally. Compared to, like, other incomes globally, it's... Fallen. Just because it's got a high value in the US doesn't mean it's got a high value in other countries. That's kind of not how it works. <laughs> Use your farming method when I'm done with the manhunt. All right, do it. Oh, I've got the cursor in the screen. Go away, cursor. Headhunting skills? No. Hold on. Uh... Right, the pound to euro is 1.17, right? If I went to Germany and change Great British Pound, it's 1.21, okay? The euro is 1.17. So essentially it should be like pound twenty. But if I, if I exchange it in Germany, it's 1.21. I get better value for my pound in Germany. If I go to Ireland, it's 1.15. Still the euro. It changes per country. Like, yeah. It, it's very weird. I don't know enough about it. But just because, like, one country has it valued at one thing doesn't mean that another country has it valued at that. And in, like, the Saudi and Arabic states, the dollar was worth less than the paper it was written on. Check Poland. Busy! My, my point was just quite simple. Like the euro, like pretty much the vast majority of Europe use the euro. But they all tend to be like very similar, typically, which is how we have like a global index for it. But. It is just weird. I don't understand enough about it to, like... There's actually, like, a full-on formula for it when it comes to, like, trading and whatnot, which I thought was quite interesting.
Can I stop blowing up and being on fire, please? That would be fucking great, man. Why? Why? Put it away! God. Yeah, the, the manhunt rewards have definitely... Uh, I wouldn't even say they've gone downhill. There's just no point to them anymore. Other than law, there is literally no, no point to manhunts. It's not that they're a struggle, there's just, it's just a, no point. Uh, like, emotionally a struggle, yeah, I suppose. <coughs> oh, oh, what? Who are you? Get away. Right, are we done? Right, check Poland. Uh, Polish Zloty, I keep, uh, 5 Polish Zloty, 5.02 Polish Zloty is one pound. Essentially. Agent requesting backup. Mate, this fluctuates daily. Jesus Christ. What is your economy doing in Poland? Somebody send help to Poland. What is your economy doing? It got to 5.4. It then dropped to like 4.7. Jesus, at one point it was over six. I think the lowest I can find it was... Is that 2010? 28, 2008. Then they got down to... What was that? 4.2? I think. Hey. The bounce... Jesus Christ. Anyway. Poland is a lovely country. I've never been there, but I've always seen, like, all these pictures and, like, people, like, like doing, like, touristy things and walking around and being like, we're in Poland, we're going to talk to some, like, Polish people and bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. And they always seem, like, really nice and chatty. And even if they're, like, you can tell, like, behind the glassy-eyed exterior. They're looking at them like, dude, stop talking to me. I'm trying to do my weekend fucking shop and you're bothering me with TikTok bollocks. Go away. Like, you can you can see it. But they're still really nice and polite and lovely and it's like... Yeah. 
Yeah, the government don't fuck about in Poland as well. I remember seeing like a UN conference. Um, and the UN was sort of like, oh, we need, we need to send some refugees here. They're everywhere. Poland, you've never taken any refugees. Like, it's, it's definitely your turn. Other countries are kind of like running out of like the ability to take refugees here. And Poland turns around and goes, no. Like, what do you mean no? Like, would you like to name the one country in the European Union that has never suffered a terrorist attack? And they're like, um, who? They're like, fucking Poland. We're the one country in the EU that's never suffered a terrorist attack. Every other country in the EU is taking in refugees and has suffered a terrorist attack. Of some description. <laughs> So everyone else is like going, oh yes, Poland has to help out. And Poland went, no fucking way. We have a duty to defend Polish people first. <laughs> Be more like Poland. I would agree. I'm not saying that like refugees don't need help, bloody, bloody, blah, 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 but... To be a refugee in Poland, because they have now started taking refugees, but to be a refugee and legally seek asylum? Oh my god, the process. Oh my fucking god. Oh yeah, common sense. Defend their own populace before before anyone else. Absolutely. Dad, have records. Hostile broadcast detected. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It was on um. Poland. Is this the guy? It might be a moment. Won't this party ahead of the elections in 20... No, that's not the one. There's a really angry guy. Forgotten where he is. Poland's government has long been proud of its strong stance against migration. While other European nations welcomed in hundreds of thousands of people who'd fled war, Poland stood firm with its borders firmly closed. Was no. I can't find it. I've forgotten. He's like, he's like the Polish something or other of like immigration. And everyone's like, oh yes, yeah, like all the other countries like, yeah, we'll take these this amount of people and they get standing ovation, bloody blah, come to Poland. And he goes, borders are closed. And everyone's like, you fucking what? <laughs> it's so funny. It's really funny because you can see all these government officials like absolutely shocked and appalled. But you can see all of the people that this is being televised to giving the stand an ovation. Like, fuck yes, go Poland. To be fair, last time front you were in. <laughs> That's actually one thing. Like, it, in order to actually get asylum in Poland, I think I can't remember the term, but one of them, one of the uh, stipulations is you have to join a public service for like I can't x amount of years. 
it's not like a normal amount of years. Like in the UK, like military service is minimum four years. I think this asylum service is like eight years or something. So if you want to, if you're a refugee and you want asylum in the in Poland, <laughs> yay, you're signing up to like an eight year contract in the in the Polish army or something like that. Like <laughs> shit, bus motherfucker, <laughs> kind of thing. Like that, their, their rules for seeking asylum is like heavy. In a reverse car, damn straight. Honestly, I'm on Poland's side. I think if I could move to any country in the EU, I would I would move to Poland. Eight years of food and shelter, yeah, but they're serving the country. Or the country they're going to. And it's like, it's hard work. Fed up! It's hard work. Like, even on, like, easy days in the army, it's fucking hard work. I think it's the way it should be. I think, to be fair, if you're going to seek asylum in the country, you need to learn to uh, respect and appreciate that country. Thing is, it's not just military. That's like an example, but like it's like police, firemen. Um, if you're like an engineer, they will literally throw you into like an engineering job, but like a hard fucking graft one. Like you will, essentially, if you want to like, like depending on your qualifications and whatnot. Like it's not just I'm just using military as an example, but like you could be like, say like, you were a I don't know. A, a, a first responder in your original country and you're fleeing war and whatnot. Okay, great. You're now going to be a first, like, they'll look at your credentials. Cool. Um, they'll say, do you want to be a third, like a paramedic first responder, fire, firefighter first responder, or due to certain training, do you want to go the military route? Do you want to be like a, um, a field medic in the military? Like, these are your options, You, but you will be picking one kind of thing. Like, it's not just, aha, you're fleeing war. Back into the army and back to war you go, kind of thing. It's like, they will look at you, what you have to offer, and then they will say, you have a choice of A, B, C. You will pick one. If you want to stay here, you will pick one. But there, it's not just so much of like, they're going to throw you into the meat grinder. They're still lovely people. you got to remember that. Which I think is actually the best way to do it, to be fair. Supply room access. Eight years, food, shelter, and a job. Plus, you have a family, small price to pay. I'll do it. Well, think of it the other way, right? At the moment in the UK, if you if you get granted asylum, you're immediately on benefits, which is normally more than what the actual public here are entitled to. Um, immediately on benefits. You don't have to work. You're always given the benefit of the doubt. And no one gives a fuck. Like, so they're draining money. 
Go to Poland, sure, you get given food and shelter, but you're fucking working for it. You're contributing to society. You're paying taxes. You're paying your bills. Yeah. Yeah, lots of cuddles as well. Hey, did anyone see the guy in Ireland? I mean, this is this is old now. This is I think I've spoken about this before. There was a guy in Ireland. Um, asylum seeker. Um, I, don't, I can't remember where he was from. But apparently, where he was from, it was perfectly normal to stab women and children. I'm, I'm actually not joking. I've, I can't remember where he was from. But he stabbed an Irish mother and her two children. Um, the government apologised to the asylum seeker's family. They couldn't give a fuck about the Irish family and the two children that were just stabbed to death with the woman. The government apo apologised to the asylum seeker's family. Because it must have been hard and confusing for him in a country that he doesn't know and understand. I'm like, what fucking country is he from where it's okay to stab people? Like, are you, seri are you serious about this? It's like, really, is, is this the game we're playing, Island? I'd get to Poland quick, yeah. <laughs> Fucking tell me about it. I've actually been tempted, right? I've I've got a friend in the uh, Polish military. I think he's still in, actually. And I was like, if I move to Poland, obviously I've got to go through your thing, right? I, I'm an in, I'm an injured vet. Right? There's not really a lot I could do with my credentials. And I was like, but there is one thing I can do. And he was like, what? I was like, I can train. I can train your guys. And he was like, ooh, that might not be a bad idea. And I'm like, oh, yeah, give me the opponent, give me the opponent. <laughs> oh, yeah, weekly project. Projects. Oh, Coney Island, Manning, Coney. Manning and Coney Island. That might not be too bad. Foggy Bottom's easy. Grand Washington. Yeah, but this dude just stabbed her. I don't remember the reason why. I didn't look into it. All, all I looked into, um, so there's there's probably a few things I'm missing or got them wrong, which 100% my bad. But he stabbed um, a woman and two, her two children. I, I think they all died, I think. There was definitely a fatality, but I think they all died. And when the Irish government got a hold of it, because um, people were outraged by it. The Irish government were like, oh yeah, tragic loss of life, bloody, bloody, blah. blah, blah. Um, but the asylum seeker, as far as I'm aware, he's, he did like a week in prison or something, just while I was trying to get sorted out. He's gone back to his family. He's still on all the benefits. He's getting all the, like, the help from the Irish government, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. And in the latest press conference, I say the latest, this is like quite a while ago now, like a year or so, I think. Um... The Irish government made no mention of the woman and the two children that were stabbed. And they apologised to the asylum seeker and his family because it must have been a really hard and confusing time for him. That's like the general gist of the story. And I was like, are you, are you serious? Uh, that's fucking disgusting. In, mate, the Irish public went nuts. If there's one thing you don't want to fuck with, it's the Irish. You, you think the Americans, because they're armed, are dangerous? No, 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 no. The Irish. The Irish. They ran a campaign of the longest guerrilla warfare, civil war, in fucking human history. And they were really good at blowing shit up. I think within days of this, this whole incident going fucking 
like viral in Ireland. They started blowing up their own buses in the hopes that they would near government official homes and buildings. They're fucking dangerous. You think American public is scary when they're threatened. Ireland will give you a 9-11 a every weekend until you shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, like, oh my god, you don't want it. You just don't want to do it. Just trust me. America's out there with their, like, AR-15s and bloody, bloody, blood. Fucking Ireland, mate, my, my, we've got... Your entire street is now a pipe bomb. Enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Have a good day. <laughs> Got fucked up for life by two old ladies. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have to read the food fish again, sorry, yeah. Ireland is, like... They're all happy and lovely. They're all happy and lovely. Until you fuck with them. <laughs> Irish people are literally born knowing how to make an IED. Brave heart, yeah. I'm the most wanted man on my island. Your island, yeah. Ireland, it's mine. <laughs> Make them with glass savings in them. Yeah, mate. Now bombs, pipe bombs, fucking shit filled with glass. Like fucking, just don't do it. All right, the pub, the, the Irish public will fuck you. Which is why I'm actually really amazed at how stupid. Uh, Ireland's government is like, genuinely amazed at how stupid their government is. It's like most governments laugh and poke fun at their populace. The Irish government should be fucking terrified of the people that they are apparently governing. I don't think any populace in history has, like, fucked with people just in general more than the Irish.
I think we're done. I remember when Conor McGregor was hyping up the pissed off Irish, he were blowing shit up after the stabbing and crook. We're calling them Nazi <laughs> What? Oh, we're going to defend our, our, our homes and our country while our gov own government fucking betray us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Nazi genociders. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> Twitter. Such a cancerous fucking cesspool. Playing Bullet King? What happened? Um, they allowed us to re-roll it. So now that we can actually change Bullet King to Crit Chance here, it's it's a little bit juicy because we get like infinite like you know, Crit Chance. Wait, like, go away. We got some stability here. Yeah, we end up it ends up actually being probably one of the top LMGs. What do you mean you're up against doctors in a stacking of children? <laughs> Manhunt area, Rikers? Uh, weirdly, cleaners. New collectible acquired. Breakfast! Yeah. We're now able to reroll all of the good stuff. Excuse me! Yeah. Ha ha! Full you! I mean, what? Shield chunk of <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Riker chungas are a bit on the uh, juicy side, should we say? Yeah, yeah. How are you stuck in me? Spanner. Iron Lung with Brazos and Perfect Braced. Uh, interested how I'm getting somehow slapped from behind. That was a real mess, just out of nowhere for no apparent reason. Feels so much fun. Oh, no, I hate New York. What you're on about? So much fun. Who hurt you? What's your problem? Additional aerial drone. I'll take the aerial drone. I'll take it. I'll take it rectally and enjoy it. Promise. Brazos perfect brace feels Ellie. Ooh, don't know what that means. 
Two out of three second, two to three second reload, 127 round mag. Was that an elite convoy as well? Oh. I just saw like a mess of things. Feels elite. Two to three second reload. I don't think you need to worry about that magazine size. Just due to the way in which it works. If anything, I kind of feel like you actually need the shorter mag. Yeah, I'm not denying that. I think I, I, I'd have to double check, but I weirdly remember the fire bullets being coming into effect based on the percentage of how far you've gotten through your mag. So if you're increasing your mag size, you're also increasing the time it takes for you to get to having fire bullets, which kind of also defeats the point of the overall weapon itself. Obviously, the fire bullets are fucking trash, so it depends on you as to whether or not you even want them. But memory serves um to actually get the mechanic of the weapon out and about you actually want a smaller mag or just to keep it like it's a normal thing and there are wonderful wonderful ways in which we're able to uh, just smash out the um reload of it in a rather simple manner but yeah it's just a ball ache of a weapon to be honest just go l86 Yeah, I mean, it's also pretty good at, like, um, solving the um, suppressed issue. Like, if you can get, like, that one fire bullet hit on them, if they're suppressed, just get that one fire bullet hit, they all stand up. Although, so far, right, we've got Ignited, amplifies weapon damage to enemies that are on fire. Eyeless, amplifies weapon damage to enemies that are blinded. Thunderstrike, amplifies weapon damage to enemies that are shocked. And Sadist, amplifies weapon damage to enemies that are bled. Where's... Where is Cum Dumpster? Amplifies weapon damage to enemies that are foamed. I need Cum Dumpster. Give me Cum Dumpster. <laughs> If anyone's just joined in, in the middle of me having that weird rant, you're welcome. What should I say? Welcome. Yes. Do you want it? Anyone care to explain how I was being shot through the five enemies that were directly in front of me? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, it's you. You've got a shotgun. You're full of shit. Oh, you're a sniper. That's why. They have an SVD and a double barrel. They're so irritating. <laughs> and you were, you were sniping me. Sorry, shotgunning me with a double barrel from that range. 
Nat King is like, she's nothing but foam. <laughs> Yeah, we just watched this. Thank you. That's another one down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, come on then. Where we at? Where we off to? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Cut an agile. When I would have been married a long time ago. Now I know the words because thanks to Silo. It was Silo. Yeah, it's Silo. We love Silo. We love Silo. Do they me far so? You doing the manhunt as well, are you, Brosie? Probably stick Kelso on Liberty Island. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she set up a little base there. She's in. She's in um, Kina's old little shack, and she's got that fucking OP def defender drone. And she's just there, like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Making the Arnold Schwarzenegger noises from Total Recall. <laughs> Why were you all just camping out in this little truck? What's wrong with you people? We... Huh? Is it you giving it big licks? <laughs> I won't lie, if Division Two does a Trump reference, I'm gonna fucking piss myself. I will howl this as the greatest game ever if that happens. Shark. Borders already. <laughs> Fuck doing Hillary Clinton. No, there wasn't the maintenance today. Make great again moment? I don't know. I, I mostly ignore them. Would be funny though.
わYeah, it's not as fun when I get the jump on you guys, though, is it? There's a lot going on here. Or have I bugged it and I'm just farming these fuckers at this point? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Excuse me. I'm in a nicky video. Where are you going? Oh, behind. The mini tank. Right, now what? Back outside? Really? Or is it downstairs? This downstairs? This downstairs one? This is the downstairs one. Right, we got one, two. Right, we'll pop you. Cause it just damn sucks to be you. Get rid of you. Get you hiding in the corner. Alright, now it's your turn. Fucking spamming me with that bloody shot grenade. Yeah, I do like it. Right. Did we get the audio? No audio? Investigate the recording, I'd love to, but where is it? Oh, we get an audio back here. Spoilers come in. Spoilers. I am going to mute my mic and turn the game audio up. Stop them. Well, I can't. But if we work together, we might stand. 
had a chance. What the fuck? Present detected. Two-factor authentication required. Say what? Well, I got <clears throat> that was what was that? That was precisely fifty-one minutes, eighteen seconds worth of content, and now I've got to wait four four weeks. Yeah, enjoy that. Is this the same thing? Yeah. I kind of feel like he would be alive. Oh, bunfer! We have a bunfer. We have a bunfer. Yeah, content. <laughs> I've done this thing before. Right. Yeah, that was that was that was content. But he couldn't. It's frustrating. I know. I know. It's okay though. It's okay. We can move on with our lives. We can't. We can't. It's just it's painful. Right. Well, I've killed name cleaners. That's easy. So Manning Island Island. Oh. Hard or higher. Yeah, look. Manning Zoo <laughs> on Legendary. This is Manning National Zoo. Oh, should we match make for Manning Zoo on Legendary? Shall we? To Otter Nash? Yes, I have. Would you believe, although I knew of Otter Nash from Division 2, the first time I'd ever actually had like any actual interaction with him was in Elden Ring. He and I used to love to PvP against each other. Just really liked it. I would like it. It was, it, it was weird. Like, I would start off and I would kick his ass. And then he'd like, okay, can I ask what build you were running? And I was like, I'd give him information. And then he would make up a build, go, can we go again? And then obviously, like, he had made a build just to completely counteract my build and he would kick my ass. And then because at the time he was streaming and I wasn't streaming, I'd see what he did. I would then change my build and go back and we'd fight again. And I literally just kept them being this like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it was it was really fun just watching like each other's like brains work of like this is how this works. How can we counteract it? And yeah, really good, really fun guy, very intelligent. Wonders why this bumper sounds so familiar? Because he's in like every stream. He's probably lurking in mine, probably. If you went to like, I don't know, I don't know who else is on at the moment, but he might be in like Ziva Swaggers. Uh, let's just, just, just have a look. Who's who's actually streaming now? And I can probably guarantee that he's he is in someone's. Uh. uh. Oh. That, that, that's me. Uh, it's possibly in Pound of Flesh. Possibly in Godlikes. Uh, probably not Hey Scam. Bye bye, Waifu. Have a good day. No. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he's most likely in Pound of Flesh. Although, why anyone would watch him, I've got no idea, but still. Clearly, that's better than me at whatever the fuck he's doing. Alright. He's 
He is TBB. He's one of the... Uh... Oh, Manning Zoo is a uh... good old invaded Manning Zoo. We love invaded Manning Zoo, don't we? No, we don't. We fucking hate invaded Manning Zoo. I'd actually argue invaded is harder than legendary. <laughs> oh, God. i tell you what. What is... All the bits done. Have we... Oh. Still got a little bit to go. Well, and then let's smash out this. At least get that daily done. Hostile control point detected. Directives. Let's go. Fugger war. Fragile armor. Special ammo. Yeah. That'll do. You're right next to the Grand Washington Hotel. Okay, here we go. That should get their attention. Head to the service entrance on the east side of the wall. Once you're inside, find a way to the atrium. Big shot, real unpleasant. We need to kill this asshole. I realized I've, I've poured my music, poured, paused my music for the cutscene, and I haven't turned it back on because I'm special fried rice. Yeah, Bum Four is good people. If you've ever like met him, or he's he's really he's really nice. He's really cool. He's pretty chill. Helps out as much as he can. And the thing I respect the most is one of those people that if he knows the answer, he'll tell you. If he doesn't know the answer, he'll tell you that he doesn't know the answer. Like you'll be like, oh, I'm not too sure. Sorry. I like this though. It seems to work. Cool, cheers, thank you for the information. You there, with your bullshit dizzy bullet. Don't know how bullets make dizzy. Excuse me, can you just die please? That'd be great, cheers, thanks, bye. Local beats. How are you doing today? I'm not doing too good. How? Not doing too good? Not doing too bad. How are you doing today? My my ability to brain has apparently stopped. So, um, yeah. I suppose that's a, that's a positive, right? Or was that a negative? Would that be a negative? Excuse me! I've got a lumber with your name on it. One of you pooed. You smell bad. Huh? I'm looking at you, cat.
This is one of those ones where they've all gone and like hidden in the corner somewhere and they're like, oh, look at me. I'm a sneaky, sneaky ninja. Like, no, you're not. Shut up. We done? Yeah. Moving on up. Time to break free. Nothing can stop me. Kind of goes well with this music, I feel. Huh. Two, three, four. I find it really weird with Hunter's Fury, like, with then I killed his turret, and it triggered the disorient on him. But killing his turret doesn't trigger the armor on kill, or the health on kill. For that, it has to be like an actual living NPC. Like, it doesn't, armor on kill isn't even affected by it, like, doesn't even trigger on, like, warhounds, which is weird. But the disorient on kill from Hunter's Fury does. I, it's so strange. I don't get it. Why are you inside me? Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. There we are. Pretty sure I've wiped out. Oh no, there's the door spawn below, isn't there? There we are. That's that. Then it's that door spawn. That's this spawn. I'm a bug. Love it. Can we, can we, can we? Yeah, we were through. And then we're going to go... Mother Russia. For Mother Russia. And now we got to just get out of here. And should we should we try matchmaking Legendary Manning? I kind of feel like it's going to go very bad very quick. Good. I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Yeah. Yes. Walk into a hail of bullets, my pretties. Here we are. Manny, is Odessa on the line? I'll patch her in. Odessa? Kelso has some news for you. We got Eleanor. Is she okay? She's okay. I'm bringing her home. Um, so we've got Potomac control points. We can do the daily easy. Especially considering this is Foggy Bottom, right? Yeah. 
Although Potomac is actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. You never know, we might get something somewhat interesting. Although I'm kind of growing a bit nervous about how much stuff I just randomly have on me now. It's going to be like 130, 114, 113, I think. And I'm now at like 127, like all of the time. So we'll have to fix that. So, right, masks. Don't need you. Or you. Perfect focus, don't need. Providence. Jessica backpack with vigilance here apparently. Interesting. I need that. There we are. What about weapons? Scorpio. I think this is more just I'm collecting. So we've got sledgehammer option. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. I wanted you somewhere else, so we're gonna put you back. And we're just gonna There we are. Little bit neater. Boop. I'm now up to 116, apparently, somehow. Is it you? Yeah, it is you. Ah. Uh, no, I'm still up to 116, which means... Who am I missing? You. There we are, 115. That's my number. Play. Fuck it, let's do some Terry Prick shit.
and no one's nerdy enough to get the Terry Pratchett joke. No one is. No one will ever get it unless I explain it to you. Because I'm really sad and nerdy. How are you still firing, you foolish mortal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool story, bro. Choking now. Oh. Reach the docks, okay? Why am I choking? Oh god. Dooby dooby doo. Of course, it's the named item that drops first. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Unlucky. It's a pleasure knowing you, though.
Hi. Oh, this isn't a blow up one, is it? He's kitty on crack. He's kitty on crack. Oh, he's come scooting over. He's coming. He's coming. You all right? You all right? What do you want? Huh? He's scared. He's like, this is a trick and I know it. Oh. Now he comes over. What's that? <laughs> Come here. What's up with you? Oh. There we are. What's that? Hmm? No. There we are. It's all good. It's okay. Hey! Stop it. There we are, look. we'll just, we'll just spud you. How about that? How's that? Can't really see you too well. There you are. Just kicking me! Are you kicking me? Ah! <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's all right. There we are. I want a near scratch, I got it. There we go. Near scratch. I'm gonna near scratch break. good now do you feel better i turned out as a yes just dove off immediately like i'm out of here bitches i got my ear scratch i'm done all right and it's this way no 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 you've had your ear scratch and you bailed you didn't you, you don't get to come back oh you want your want window your window there we are oh let me to do that though Jump up here, we jump up there, we jump up here. Oh no. There we are. Now my headset feels funny. Cat, what you done to me? What you done to me? That's on a three. That's on a three. Cool. They're nice and even, but it feels funny. Where?
ったね。OK Hey guys, Manhunt's over. I found Kelso. 4am stream, let's go. I started at 7am my time. It's currently 10... 10.24. How you doing, Proji? How you doing today? Loving life? Anything fun happened? Just got home from a night out. Oh. Ooh. Was it a good night out? Mate, he's cheating. Did you get a girl? Oh. Man, whatever. There may have been a girl. So, it went from night went well to may have been a girl, right? Prodigy, right? Just don't, don't leave us hanging here. Have you lost your virginity or not? For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> yes! Okay. They are. Everyone feel feel well, feel no like happy that finally Prodigy has lost his anal virginity. We we can all now, you know. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> So these two are just camping out in fire while not being on fire. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> well, my what in my where? <laughs> Shh, go to sleep. It'll be over soon. So he's, Simon's nice. He's, he's praising you. Well done, man. Yes. Hey, that's enough out of you. You down. And everyone to you. There you are. Now everyone's got a full stack. Right, uh, yeah. Cool story. Oh, why are you such a wee dude? But yeah, hunt's over, guys. We found Kelso. She was at Potomac the whole time. Who knew? Who knew? Alright, so that's the daily done. So we've got to do a control point.
Where's... Oh, this should be easy. We can get there in time. I miss Brosie. 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. There you are. We should, we should actually get like, like a full on cover of that. Instead of Jolene, call it Brosie. 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 Hey. I'm begging of you, please, to stick your tongue on my rim and wiggle. Wiggle it. Wiggle it! Go away in the LMG. Look, look, look. He's just so full of shit! How did that put me on fire? I don't think I got in, was there in time for the... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll run around and see if we can grab it. Oh, it's, it's getting further away. We can do it. We can make it. I will make it. So if the control point will count as one or two activities. They've been buggy lately. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going to do this this first because this counts as this should count as one. So then, it's the easy way to tell is just if it completes or not, and if it doesn't complete or not, then yeah. Oh, we got. How far away did this fucking thing get? We're not even in the same area now, are we? Oh yeah, we are. We are. Oh. No, you can't. Stop talking. Talk to the hostage. Talk to the hostage, and you're to blame. Darling, you give love a bad name. Run to the hills. I've got fluff all over my fluff. For my fluff. In danger. Might as well just go do this one now. It's like right here. But yeah, we're one out of one out of three, which is good. Probably by the time we get there, this one probably will be done. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because it's still the control point. 
This one's pretty easy to do with pestilence, to be fair. There we are, that's gone. I was doing you a favour, stupid warhound. Got a full stack on someone. It's 1.5. There we go. They're all dead. <laughs> all right. Did that count? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy like laughing at myself. Uh, two out of three. I know I have to defend. But one of them isn't counting. Is it the taking it or the defending it that isn't counting? So we know that, well, so far, assuming this is like a perfect take, taking it counts as one. Taking it didn't bug. Maybe holding it is what bugs. At least this way we can figure out what is causing it. God, prodigy. God, so, so pushy. So needy. God. What the... There's a bunch of plebeians here already. Well, that was just unfortunate for them, wasn't it? They even want you to defend now? I'm tough! It's nice and easy that they're all spawning on this side and I've got a max pestilent dick going, look. <sighs> well there, that was easy. Come on guys! There you are, there's that. Supply room access unlocked. Get all your funny stuff out of the way. Oh, it counted. The 
Conia with armor regen and health. Because you know we need more health. We, we do absolutely need more health. We, we do. Dum -de -de -dum -de 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 -dum. Got a nice little pile up here though. Look, look at all this herbs. No, no, no. Looking for a courier with health? Have you? Why? 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 Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Why would you do that? Stop it. Stop it now. No, you don't. No, you don't. Where, where's the guy that needs to... Excuse me, sir. Apparently you like taking all of my junk. That'll do. I can't be honest giving you more. And that should be the weekly. Yeah, or daily, sorry. <clears throat> pigeon, back in the engine before I have to go. Oh, man, pigeon. You're shit lately. But then you are a pigeon, so I'll let you off. Let's go. Wait, no, give me that. Give me. Fuck me. Next update, all about repair skill. <laughs> no, incoming. Incoming. Repair skill has a use. Specifically as healer build, but repair skill at least has a use. So it'll be incoming repairs, which, don't be wrong, does have a use, but, like, barely anyone even remotely even bothers trying to use it. So, yeah, repair skill. Health might be the best attribute in the game. It potentially could be, if we understand how the health gate works more... ...usably. The problem is, though... Sorry, Uncle Don. <laughs> the problem is, though, with, like, armor regen, it's passive. Happens all the time. Armor on kill, uh, we tend to get more value out of it because we tend to get more... ...ironically more actual armor at like a base value um, health doesn't have a passive regen unless you're not taking damage and the health regen um, health on kill the only variant we have of that is from hunter's fury so if there is a in a massive mix-up as to how health health gating armor on kill health on kill armor regen and health regen are actually to work health could potentially be very powerful Especially because of the values we're now able to get. But in general, as it stands right now, that sniper shot came from behind me, apparently. Which is very interesting. Uh, yeah, due to the... Uh, basically, just the performance that we have of it now, then no. Uh, fixed your fucking wagon, didn't I? How am I doing? I'm not doing too bad. Loving life, I suppose you could say. This version of the man, it, yeah. The ability to lose. <laughs> <You're looking fucking. laughs> so why 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 is why is finishing why is finishing this manhunt been such a good for all of you guys? Because we get to get out of New York. <laughs> we left New York.
Uh, right, that should be... Yeah, Pigeon, I'm doing pretty good. I got a 30% PFE mod at SHD 168. Okay, it's a star in G, you know that, right? To see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Coney Island Amusement Park. Come on then. It's pretty easy weekly, so just get it fucking done. Hi. Bam, 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 bam. Where are you running? Why are you running? Ma'am, the division manager We've lost the asset. We'll retrieve him later. Focus on some again. Disappointing this week. Man, stop breaking. You're not even that old. Who are you? Why are you shooting shit? Alright, what keeps fucking pedo in me? Is it you? I got flashed like five times. Well, I think it was just like twice, but it felt like five times. It's rather infuriating, to be perfectly honest. I don't really feel like anyone's coming to the park anymore, love. I won't lie. Did that guy really just go, I'm walking here? I swear I broke your chain. Nah, this one's over with. Fucking sniper dog. I swear I broke his chain. Like, I swear. Must have not. Oh, well. Where'd you go? That's... I me help myself, but what can I do? I'm gonna... <laughs> Alright, man. Have a good day, Pigeon. Sorry to hear you've, like, fucked yourself over again, but... If anything, you could probably, like, sell tickets or something to, like, the, uh, what Pigeon Destroy Himself show. Serious 
Oh, why is there a chunga? Come on, Warhound. Yeah. I'll take two tickets, please. I mean, I'll take about two as well, actually. Yeah. I would. I wouldn't mind some uh, tickets to the uh, Watch Pigeon Fuck Himself Over show. You know what? Here, let's play the game of um, Unlucky. I've got a longer range than you. What am I stuck on? No foots on show. Oh, go away. What? Mate. Nice idea, YouTube series maybe? Maybe. Oh, this is why I hate Cody. I don't play it enough. I don't know the spawn locations. I don't know anything. But... Fuck it, we'll do it the really boring way from now on then. Which is just no 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 someone else for a fucking typewriter. I'm going after Tina. And the last thing I need is some other fucking agent in my way. Understood, man. Well you're about to get you're about to get a very annoyed agent in your way. Cause this mission is fucking ass, man. All you do, all it's all it's done so far is just spam me with mini tanks, chungas, and warhounds. Go away. Do you have anything else to offer? No. Like, ugh. Step bro, help. No, step bro, don't help. What? No, that one. That one. Oh, right, there you are. Hey, it's like fucking playing Legendary. Why? It's all these ridiculously large open spaces with nothing for me to do. Get fucked. What? Mate, why is Coney Island so fucking bad? Ugh.
Really? They're still spawning there? What else is there? Come on, Chango, you don't want to run for me. Come on. Nice little run for you. Who's a good boy? There we are. When in doubt, just burn through Bullet King. Why did I need to play for my watch? Just pull the fucking lever, dude. <laughs> There's an annoying sniper. There we are. Oh, and you, go away. Worst sniper ever. Jesus Christ. Promise next week you'll stay for a whole stream. Press X to doubt. It's alright though, man. Don't worry about it. I understand, like, I stream mostly during work hours, Monday to Friday. I understand that people are going to be at work, doing things. It's fine. It's fine. God. Already have. Yeah, he's ugly. Now what? We good? No, we're not good. Who's next? Do sneak you in on breaks or fake break? It's fine, man. Don't worry about it. Like. I, I'm fully aware that, like, I I am the problem when I'm streaming. It's fine. And, like, add in people's time zones, etc., etc. It just, yeah. That's why, like... I don't expect people to like constantly be talking or anything because I understand quite a lot of you are like working and lurking yourselves and you're here just to like help support and like slam on the ad revenue maybe a cat maybe catch the occasional stupid comment I make but I appreciate all of you it's great I just kind of wish that like I, I had like a better personality so that when you guys aren't actually engaging with me I could at least, I don't know, entertain myself, but I don't. I end up just sort of sat here in silence and just moping and, yeah, which I imagine is a lot more difficult to, uh, yeah. But still, I appreciate it. It really, it really does mean a lot.
your position. It's riddled with cleaners. It's riddled with cleaners. That sounds like it's um <clears throat> like someone actually needs to see a doctor. Shut up. Not you! Oh, there you are. Where is it? Aha! Oh yeah, I forgot that you're a shitty little sniper. How do I get up to you? I want to kind of like just donkey punch you, to be perfectly honest. Uh. She was she was a sniper and too angry. Like you you know. I'm aware, like, I'm an angry fucker, but, like, went out on the job, man. Chill. Nothing phases you. Sharky! 8 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. My time. Uh, it's 11 p... It's 11 a.m. now. So, yeah. Been streaming for, like, four hours. But it's my normal time. Normally. I'm trying to get back into it. But, yeah. I normally... I'm trying to start at, like, 7 a.m. I do 7 till 2... And then, like, two till five-ish, she's going to be, like, potter around being adult, bloody, bloody, blah, blah. If I can, I'll smack in a video if I can. And then five till, like, six is have my dinner and stuff my face. Then six till ten is second stream. Today marks the speedy day? It does? Why? What's happening? A special day. Oh. Just had super fast broadband fitted. Go, Hutchler. Go, Hutchler. So you're an early bird? Mate, I've always been an early bird. I'm annoyingly one of those absolute horrific people that I, what is it like? I think it was like Saturday or something. Um, yeah, Saturday. I was up till 3am drinking and I woke up at 5am because I always fucking do. <laughs> don't like it and i just lay there and like just grumble and groan and stuff it yes yeah you're all gmt plus one all right 
Bulb Huck, let's go. But Huck just got super fast broadband. Hutch has got super fast broadband. How you doing, Hutch? First, I forgot where hello first heli is. Oh, there. Good, thank you. I'm looking forward to actually being able to stream now. <laughs> Great, another person I've got to compete with. <laughs> Manhunt gave us new footage. Indeed it did. I've done it already. Uh, somewhere. I should have recorded it and then posted it. Where are you going? Where are you going? No. Mate, each manhunt is taking four weeks. They have dragged it out. Dragged it out. Like, I am just so over this manhunt. It it kind of got a little bit of interesting because it actually, the manhunt target is actually Kelso. So that was like a little bit interesting. But then each fucking part is taking four fucking weeks. And it's barely like, it's, it's not even an hour's worth of content. So you've got to wait four weeks to do maybe 40 minutes, 40, 50 minutes worth of content. And it, I say content, it's basically three, two control points, three bounties, and then you get a cutscene or a audio thing. So it's only worth it if you even enjoy the lore. Final, uh, four weeks, literally four weeks. Three weeks, six days. And then this will take us to the final. That's it. Season, it's not season two. It's season 1.0. We have no idea what the fuck we're doing. We slightly, slightly changed it to lull you into a full sense of security. But realistically, nothing has fucking changed. Yeah. Hey boy, hey boy. Thank you. Thank you. Just report competition and get them banned? Wait, you can report competition? Are you taking the piss? Are you actually being serious, Junks? What was my favourite update in the game? When Gear 2.0 came in. Although I don't necessarily like it. Um, as far as the fact that it basically mixed everything up. And gave us something to do when the game was getting stale. It was really good. We need a Gear 3.0 at this point. We just need one. I guess being this close, you're out of firing range. But there are hostiles near the boardwalk. 
Regardless, you guys are just going to... Yeah, of course we are. Of course we are. That's what we do. Give me the legs. Give me the legs. Give me the sexy fucking legs. Yeah, 100. I'll play whatever they throw our way. Well, as long as it's like in some manner engaging. If it's not, you're fucked. But that isn't an excuse for doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Report hut. Do it. Do it. If not competition, if there's a clear winner. I get at the moment fucking toasty, mate. Uh, I get maybe 20, 25 to 20 average views on Twitch. Like at the fucking last night, toasty had like fucking 96 at one point, I think I saw. Last night, yesterday. Like, yeah. Fucking Toasty's rocking it, dude. I think it's my amazing personality that fucking keeps people away, though. At least NGM makes it interesting. I, I don't think anyone can make the uh, lore for this game interesting as much as I like NGN, but rather than spending, like, 80 years trying to figure out what this game is trying to tell me, NGN condenses it into a fucking eight-minute video. So much easier, in my opinion. So that's why I like NGN. What is the weapon gear that they nerfed or reworked that you wish they could undo? Uh, Berserk. I kind of want Berserk back. I feel like Berserk was very powerful, especially in the way in which a lot of things play nowadays. Berserk would be really, really good. Um, to be fair, they've actually done this with quite a few things. Like, we have Perfect Allegro still. We still have Perfect Allegro on the org thing. Bloody, bloody, blah. Um, and Salubre, we have Perfect Fast Hands. Bloody, bloody, blah. Like, there's a few items that still have, like, their perfect variant talents. But we don't have the normal talents anywhere. Like, we don't have Fast Hands, but we have Perfect Fast Hands. We don't have Allegro, but we have Perfect Allegro. I don't want a health berserk build, but that that could be interesting. But, uh, but the way in which clutch has been changed, we actually have no real way to um, engage with um, health outside of Hunter's Fury. I just kind of, I just kind of wouldn't mind. Move something along the lines of berserk coming back. Because we've got a lot of pieces that are like, oh yeah, while you're at full armor, you're like gear sets. While you're at full armor, you'll do X, Y, you'll get an increase in damage. While you haven't been hit for a certain amount of time, you'll do X, Y, Z damage. I want one that is like, while you're fucking nearly dead. Oh my God, you slap like a bastard. Still play it, but else is still trash. Yeah. Well, that goes for every game with law. Yeah, well, the thing is, I do care about other games that have actual interesting law. I don't think Division 2. Well, we won't get it, but I can slap. Oh, go on, drunk. Slap me. Oh. I don't think the law or the understanding. Um, within Division 2 is even anywhere remotely close to being intelligent, interesting, or even comparable to someone that actually has an idea on how to write, or any idea on how military tactics even remotely fucking work.
on all places. Weapons. Oh yeah, the uh, the holster talents. Don't know the trilogy novels not here. From what I've I've read, one of them, and it didn't. It made it worse. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's not how military shit works! Yeah, I'm aware. I'm not saying he's a bad writer, but that's not how, like... This is meant to be at least realistic to real-world real standards of what we have in today's day and age, right? Division 2. It's Tom Clancy. Right? Congrats. He wrote, he wrote stuff about how superhuman genetic freaks are able to stamp on aliens. That doesn't mean like. I have not done this mission in such a long time. Uh, the, the problem with what they've done, I don't know, like, like, it's been my take the whole time. Like, how they've written the characters and what apparently they're capable of, and then what actually happens, and how things are portrayed in-game, in-verse, in-lore. It, none of it makes any sense, and this should have ended um, the moment Black Tusk even reared their ugly head. It would have been over. Like, nothing would have happened. They would have all died. Problem solved. Like it's it's a really really stupid overall story. It's actually retarded how bad. Like if you're com to compare this to like actual military standards, what would happen, how it would happen, the overarching purpose of what from division start to finish would have lasted about two weeks, and everyone would be dead. And Kelso would probably be in charge. Kelso would have wiped the world. For the lore of what we have of the current people in play. Kelso's the one to fucking fear. Oh no, they're not. But at the same time, the PMCs in this game are wandering around on fucking hovercrafts. Do you know why no military uses hovercrafts? I'm going to like talk to you or some shit. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey kitty, what do you want? Bye back! Yeah, like, like, in terms of, like, how this story has progressed with the players that we have in play, um, yeah, Black Tusk would have lasted about a week before they got fucking nuked. 
Um, the only threat would actually be True Sons. They are actual military. They have been going through the motions with a military unit for God knows how long. Black Tusk are a private military that are recruited from civilians. We've actively intruded on them doing their military training uh, on well, that's actually invaded um, Nash, uh, Manning National Zoo. That's them doing a promotion and training. It's they're, they're civilians that are trained up to military, whereas True Sons are, well, again, they would be civilians trained up to military, but these guys have probably been military for fucking years. True Sons would be the real threat. When we go to Tidal, we wipe Tidal out, and there's this lovely hovercraft sat right here. Look, you can even see it on the map that we have control of. And on this hovercraft, there's a missile site there, there, and there that we are able to use. We just basically just destroy the electronics but it's okay right because there's a guy in new york who's kind of helping us at the moment called paul rhodes who graduated mit with engineering so he could easily fix that fucking hovercraft so why are we chilling out at the white house when we can fucking chill out on a mobile fortress that has missiles everywhere that could easily solve a lot of our problems also when we did dark hours the raid, it's part of the actual story, Dark Hours, where is it, where is it, there it is, that's Dark Hours. There's this really annoying, um, huge turret thing at the end, it, it's called, um, oh fuck, what's it called, the Razorback, that we, again, we, we kind of destroy it, but it's got some really fancy, awesome tech that we could actually able to utilise. And that tech is generally considered to be, like, quite signals-based. Manny, the current leader of the division, who's hanging out in fucking where is it over here is actually an ex-signaler who has qualifications in signals so we actually have had access to a razorback for god knows how long but nope we've just left it sat there and then after like somehow magically the, the black tusk actually get the drop on us uh, despite the fact that we should have way more assets than we do because black tusk just keep hand delivering to them oh look they've actually given us a ra another razorback to our fucking doorstep And then when we do Liberty Island, there's like another fucking Razorback. At this point, we should have access easily to three Razorbacks. There's two fucking hovercraft right here. And Black Tusk just keep hand delivering this shit to us. I'm sorry, at what point are Black Tusk a fucking threat other than the fact that we actually probably need to give these guys better helmets because they're that retarded? Story-wise, this game is terrible. I'm sorry. You can make it as sound as interesting as you want. From a tactical perspective, Black Tusk are no more a threat than a child with an AK. Don't get me wrong, a child with an AK is still a threat. But tactically, no. Black Tusk are not a threat. At all. Alani Kelso. Hold on, I'll bring her fucking back up. Division to Alani Kelso. Where is she? There we are. All right. That one? That one. There we are. Alani Kelso. She is a paramilitary officer for the CIA, or was. She has done US Army Ranger School, SHD training, and is a division agent, right? If you don't know what a paramilitary officer for the CIA is, these are the people that created the fucking Taliban. With a buttload of cash, three people went to the Middle East, convinced a bunch of farmers that their government is pretty weird and wacky and shit and whatever, gave them some money, some guns, and some basic training, and we now have the Taliban. And ever since then, the Middle East has been a fucking mess. You have a US Ranger School paramilitary CIA officer running around in your division agency, and you think Black Tusk is the threat. I'm sorry? No, Kelso. Kelso is the end game boss. Kelso. You think Natalia Sokolova is a problem? Kelso is the problem. Kelso would have, if, with the current state that we are led to believe, the, the, 
United States of America is in, Kelso would have it under her fucking little pinky finger within a month. You think hyenas are a problem, Kelso? You think she would be straight to the truth? She would have the true sons under thumb, as well as the division agency under thumb. Black Tusk will come along with their hovercrafts and their hunters. Kelso would laugh and then they'd all die. That is how the story would literally go in real life. Kelso is the problem. Three of these fuckers. Three of them. Three Kelsos fucked up the Middle East for the past, what, 80 years? 80 years, three of them. And that was in a solid economical climate at the time. Look up images of Iraq 60 years ago, 80 years ago. It looks like Dubai, a, a more... Well, yeah, because they're still trained by the same people. Trying to find the fucking images, there's like fucking so many of them. But yeah, fucking like. Kelso's the problem. I'm not. Well, I'm not saying she's like the problem. She's bad or whatever. But if if you think like this story would happen in real life or even if, even remotely close to what anything, I remember it's a game. Bloody bloody blah. But the books and where everyone betrays it. Like, oh yeah, this could happen. No, 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 no. Natalia Sokolov would be someone's bitch right now i.e. Kelso's, Manny would be Kelso's, literally with everyone would be singing to Kelso's shoe. Players the real threat because of plot armor? No, Kelso's the real threat because of plot armor as well. <laughs> Thank you. Like, it's just... Like, Outcast would have lasted maybe 30 seconds. In a scenario like this, Outcast would have lasted maybe 30 seconds. Like, it's... They're comical. They are... They are like a comic relief character thrown into a game for apparently shits and giggles. And it's no wonder they're actually probably one of the more overpowered factions within this game. But they are just pure comical. They actually serve no point to the story overarching performance of anything they're literally just a tack on that just doesn't need to exist hyenas kind of actually make sense because they're like the, the gang bangers that's kind of imagine where like you'd see all the little chavy gangs and whatnot that think they're really cool in a scenario like this they would generally kind of meet up but they would also get their heads kicked in very fucking quickly even in terms of like a militaristic area i just think like post-apocalypse for those general people we'll get to them in a minute we're doing dc first God. For, like, for the general populace that had no idea how to combat and fight and etc etc where would you go where would you go for the, the general populace where would you go you'd go to the military right anyone know what a jtf unit is anyone know what a jtf unit is at all Some friends always tell me the turn up. She, she won't be rogue. She probably, if she goes rogue, it's she is the rogue, as in, like no one else is rogue. She is, she is it. She, it's not so much that she is the rogue. She is going to. It will be like a pivotal point in her overarching story, the way in which she can be portrayed, of where division division is going to be completely split into two, and it will either be. Uh, the cow side, whoever that cow guy is, or the Kelso side. And 
both are still going to be division agents, but they're going to look at each other like they're the ones that went rogue. But yeah, a JTF unit is basically just uh, civilian contracting. Civilian contracting. Joint task force. Um, so these guys aren't actually military. They're probably not. They're... They're... they're yeah, a bunch of... You have joint operational units. They are militaries from around the world joined together. A joint task force is people that have minimalistic training. They're civilians. They, they've probably had more time paintballing than with guns. So these aren't actually military, right? The general populace in a situation like this, where are they going to go? They're going to go to the fucking military. And the military are the true sons. They're the military. That's the remnant of the military at the moment. Everyone would go to the fucking True Sons. These would be the largest faction. And due to Kelso's influence, performance, everything, she would be here. That's where she would be. She'd be in fucking... You think General Ridgway is the is the real leader of True Sons? Fuck that, no. It's... It, yeah. Conscripts, essentially. But they're not going to be... And then even then, they're going to be conscripted. These guys are going to be conscripted to the True Sons. Like, this is not how it would work at all. It's just... <laughs> and then even if it did work like this, even if everything in the division did work out this exact way, if it really did, the moment we find out about Cal, uh, like, at the president, the line of succession, I have, um, if any Americans are in, let me know. I, I don't know the line of succession. So the president dies, it goes to the vice president. If the vice president dies, it goes to the... Oh, fuck. Some chairman or something. I forgot. The, 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 the speaker of the house, I think it was. Bloody, 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 blah. I think it was like 14th in line. It, it ends up going to the de, um, home secretary of defense or whatever it's called, which is what Cal... The guy we met during the whole recruiter thing would be. He is the highest political official that anyone knows of that is still alive. We have confirmation he is alive. We have like had third party communications with this person. I think we might have even had like first party. Homeland, yeah, home, he's Homeland Security. He's head, even before like you go for like the Homeland Security part, he's still head of the division the Strategic Homeland Division Agency. He is effectively our boss. Regardless of what else is being said, we are a military unit. He's dead. He's not. There's others that are like actually dead. He's pretty fucking far down though. But regardless of that, he is our boss. He is the head of our unit. So the moment we find out that this guy exists and he is saying that we're in the wrong, sorry sir, like shit bust. The moment, the moment the recruiter thing happens and we find Cow exists, we should be on Cow's side. We're a military unit. You don't get to pick and choose, mate. You fucking signed up. That's how it would work. You fucking signed up. You are a division agent. You signed up. We find out Cal, our boss, is alive. I, I don't know why we didn't find out this sooner. That's kind of like the first thing that anyone should have actually done. But the moment we find out Cal is alive, and according to what we have now, Cal is like the de facto head of the United States. Right? At this point, we have no excuse. We don't. We have no excuse. Yes, <laughs> Theo might have been right all along, <laughs> but yeah, this is what I mean, like, in terms of, like, an actual storyline within the Division 2, this thing is fucked. It's probably one of the worst stories I've ever seen. I've read one of the books, it was fucking, like, in terms of, like, action, writing, performance, it was really good, but in terms of, like, what is actually possible and what should be coming in a storyline that is within meant to be like within real world limits with the Tom Clancy tag. This is a this is this is fucking comedy. This is this is a comedy. This is probably closer to a comedy than an action. Like it's it's so bad. It's, it's really bad. It really is really bad. Mm. <clears throat> Of course our agent would know about Cal. We were on the freaking phone to him when we killed the recruiter. 
which we shouldn't have even done. The recruiter even actually explained it all to us during that entire mission. During the entirety of the manhunt, the recruiter manhunt mission, we are stuck between Manny and, um, not Cal, the recruiter guy, I forgot his name, agent whatever, bitching at each other, trying to like, recruit is on Cal's side. The moment we find out Cal is technically de facto leader of the USA at the moment, and he is head of strategic homeland security thing SHD, we should have gone, oh, right, that's, that's our boss, off we go, bye, come on Manny, come on Kelso, that's where we gotta be. Like, that is it, but like, we, we shouldn't have even gotten that far, at all. Brian Johnson, yeah, like, it should not have gotten that far, it's, it's pure comedy, it really is, this would not have happened in any form of militaristic unit a situation like this, nothing would have, this wouldn't have happened. I, I, I really wish I had the power to just wipe Division 1 and 2 off the face of the planet and start again with an actual militaristic set situation of how this would have gone. Because <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I assume, like, most people watching this are, like, civilians. Maybe there's probably a few veterans, law enforcement involved, blah, blah, blah. but so for civilians, right, when shit hits the fan, Okay, zombie apocalypse. Not including Americans, because I know you're all armed and dangerous, right? But where are you going? Where are you going? You're probably going to go to a... You're probably going to follow the police escort to a military transport that's going to take you to a military fucking base. And that is where you'll probably live out XYZ amount of time, right? Which means, if that happened, you wouldn't have the hyenas. That means the true sons would be in fucking control. And people like the the division agents, Poland. Yeah, damn straight. That's, that's, that's where the transports lead you, because you know. Uh, uh, the division agents would be like an elite unit attached to the military units outside of the true sons. Like, that's how it would fucking go. And during all of this, because, you know, it's an emergency, we'd, we'd be taking in volunteers to form a new unit. Oh, look, look at that. That's how you get Black Tusk. <laughs> like... <laughs> it would just be a different faction. That's literally it. And they'd probably, commu they would probably communicate. I mean, it, it just... The whole premise of this... And how this works, apparently, in Division is pure, nonsensical comedy. This is not how it would work, even remotely. Like, it, no, it just wouldn't. It just, just no. Pe pe some, a few people need to get their uh, head checks. Operation Gladio rings a bell. Yeah. That actually sounds really... I knew of it. I never really did into it. But they are. And even that, if you actually look into, like, the from what I just read there on wiki, like, there's a few things there that are like, well, that's not how the division worked. Well, that's not, the, like, it just immediately is just like, mm. I kind of feel like whoever wrote the division should have uh, read a little bit on Operation Gladio beforehand. Because 
And even that, like, like the, the terms of that, like, 1948. 1948. <laughs> Another one as well, right? This is like... System shutdown has, like, happened. Like, I don't understand how we're somehow still utilizing a nuclear power plant. These things, after, like, eight months of, like, without constant maintenance, eight months, these things go nuclear. They go Chernobyl, which is hilarious. And when I say maintain, I mean you have, like, a team of people maintaining them, not, like, one person who we apparently have, right? But these hovercraft, they're fucking huge! Wait, what? Hold on, we'll get back to that. I just... Theo outfit. But they sell... Mask... Glasses separately. <laughs> oh my. That is scummy. That's actually scummy. That's that's scummy. Really scummy. Oh my god. So, what's the what's the deed? Can we? Uh... It's literally just this. The little bit around the mouth literally just that and it's four pound for me roughly we're looking at like four pound approximately uh where is it gone oh we can get the parnell bundle That's that, that little mask. It's four pound. Four pound. Wow. But yeah, um, these hovercraft are huge. What's like the largest hovercraft? Largest hovercraft. Largest hovercraft, Zuba class. Right, these things are about three times the size. These things are about three times the size to the largest hovercraft system we have to date. Like, in, well, they're not even in use anymore. The reason they're not in use is one, because they're fucking expensive to run because of how hovercrafts function. Like, they don't naturally float. They use air pressure pushed down onto the cushion the air cushion thing and then they have to use air pressure again behind to move them forward so you're essentially like you're you're doubling your fuel costs just by having one hovercraft one this fucking size yeah there's no fucking way you have the fuel consumption in like a an apocalyptic area where people like yeah just hovercraft black tusk moving around hovercraft you might as well just laugh at them Have to buy socks and all shorts, mate. I'm not buying shit from that. I bought, I bought the uh, gilly one.
Brit roast black tusk hardware. Uh, fucking ex-military personnel roast game that thinks it can actually have some sort of military standing. And then has the ghoul, the absolute ghoul, to call itself a tactical shooter. Get fucked. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just not very smart. The game, the story, the performance of it. Uh, it's its really just, it's just not smart. But no real other way of like wording it other than that. Oh, apparently the uh, armor kit didn't want to use. Shoot shit, look good doing it, I try. <laughs> didn't you run it? No, I didn't, no. Ballistic shields are kind of hard to make and they're actually pretty expensive just to give to one agent to run around with. But I'll tell you one thing though, they wouldn't, they wouldn't disorient you. They wouldn't, if they broke. They don't. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is amazing that is fucking amazing how you but oh, oh. you know when like people do like the old um uh... hold on i'll just could we get a word document up uh <laughs> uh, where is it? Google, Google Docs. <laughs> oh, I've got all my shit here. Can we just get a blank? Docs. Nah. Oh, yeah. That was that was so funny. I need to explain that for those on Twitch. Obviously, when people are typing shit and like they get angry, they do like a load of exclamation marks, doesn't they? And then sometimes it, they fuck up. And there's a few a few ones get thrown in, but rather than like explain that as his joke, he uh, he ended his entire sentence with ah. Uh, Oh my god. Why won't it? Yeah. One, eleven, one, exclamation mark. <laughs> oh, that, that tickled me way too much. Uh, let me figure out how to do this. Sorry, just... I give up. I fucking can't figure it out without having it show all my personal fucking information. I don't care. Other than, like, logging out of Google directly, which is going to be annoying. Hey, Apalulu. Morozova ain't got shit on Kelso. No, Morozova just, I think Morozota, what was her fucking, I can't remember. Um, I think she was actually like a clerk or something. Really a tactical game, people would be dissatisfied too. Let's leave, you know, I mean, there's no, you can't really have one or the other, right, but. Hey, 
right, Charles. We got this door. Hello. Ooh. No, 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 By cursed farms that just probably tries to take the Dungeon One story serious. It's quite amusing. Like right, it just there, there's no way you could take this serious, and if you did, you probably need psychiatric help. It's it's that bad. I'm sorry. I, I, it's probably just me because obviously I've been in the military. I've had to deal with a few different situations of this sort of kind of close to this sort of thing. Not, on, but like. It just no, this is not how it would work. It's not even close. And if anything, I'm kind of embarrassed with the first people that think that this would actually make for an interesting story. Like it just isn't. It's not how it works. This is not how life works. It's not how anything works. This isn't just like, you honestly think, right? I'm aware it's like the US, right? But you honestly think, because let's face it, all of the veterans as well in the US around this area, all the veterans in DC, when they're put, when, when like push comes to shove and they're in, they're in a pinch, who do you think they're going to side with? The True Sons, military. Hyenas, cokeheads. Outcasts, crackheads on fire. Crazy crackheads. Like, who do you think they're going to pick? The average civilians. Who do you think they'll side with? Who do you think they're all going to go flocking to? <laughs> Definitely the coke. <laughs> Lewis. Yeah, they're, they're going to they're going to join the nerds. They're going to like pretend they're all in Warhammer Forty K. Like the average civilian. The veterans, bloody blood, they're all going to go to the True Sons. All of them. I've heard they're kind of fascist. It doesn't matter, mate. They're the ones whose ideals are most going to align with you as they're going to be uh, American military veterans at or currently serving. They're going to have a command structure already in place. They're going to have systems already in place. They're going to have security Provisions, food, water. You want to know why? Because they are trained to have these things under these circumstances as and when they are actually bloody needed. Like, how long does fucking... How long do rations... Sorry, uh, MREs... How long do they last? They last, like, fucking six years. Well, think of it this way. Like, every soldier is effectively a civilian. Was it last man? Last man battalion is former Delta Force, right? If I remember, if I remember my my uh, 
law correctly. How would an alliance? It, it wouldn't. The, the Black Tusk would have been created through True Sons. Like, if you were to follow it, like, how it would have worked, True Sons is effectively the current military in play within DC. The current military in play within DC. National Guard, whatever else they're, they're actually called. Now, as, like, time progresses... As time progresses, the civilian population that would inevitably join the True Sons would also want to contribute and bloody bloody blah, blah. They would be trained. This trained unit, who is going to be a little bit shorter in the tooth, a little bit more green, bloody bloody blah, 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 would probably be given a new name. I'm not saying it would be Black Tusk, but that's how Black Tusk, something like Black Tusk, a private military force joining on side with the government in a situation like this, that is how they would come about. That, 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 that's not part of the point at all. Like, Black Tusk... Think of it this way, right? The Black, Black Tusk, as you know them, in Division 2, just wouldn't have existed. It just wouldn't have existed. What we are now calling Black Tusk is just whatever civilian population unit trained to do would just be called. Right, for a start, you just took two magazines to the chest. Oh, God. World dominated. That's that's not world domination. Bioreactor doesn't actually do much. Like, at all. If a bioreactor did anything, it just would. Interesting. Who are you? Barden, Barden, is that Schaefer? He's, uh... What, what, what was he? He would be True Sons. He would be in the True Sons. He wouldn't be part. He wouldn't even be part of Black Tusk. Like you have to like if if something like this happened, what you you have to forget the fact that. BTSU, Black Tusk, actually exists because they wouldn't. What we now we are now attributing to everything Black Tusk afterwards would be whatever the civilian population would be would become afterwards. That's literally it. Because. Schaefer, 40, 49 years old, status is comatose. He's a former United States Army officer. He then became the US Army Spec Ops Command officer, formerly, and is then joined and then is recruited into doing the BTSU uh, special specialist unit. He wouldn't have joined that. He would have stayed as... Yeah, it's... He would have stayed in just the, I don't know, whatever. 
role he had during Spec Ops Command within DC, because his birthplace is Washington, DC. Uh, just to show, where is it? There we are. Uh, birthplace, Washington, DC. He's home. He ain't going anywhere. He's right here. <laughs> How he got recruited into BTSU, not a fucking clue. But like, B you have to just forget that BTSU actually exists because it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. And even if it did, it would have lasted five minutes. Patek LMB. I remember, um, that's another one as well, actually, right? What was this fucking name? Was it Hornet? Division 2. Hornet? forgotten who it was but one of the rogue agents that we have taken out through division two i thought it was hornet i don't think it was one of them through the storyline of division two is a former delta force sniper a former delta force sniper and we apparently built beat them we we we, we beat them up Grr, look at us. Look at us go. We beat up a Delta Force sniper. I can tell you right now, right? Right now, as someone who's worked with Special Forces and sniped within the Special Forces. Bullshit. You would have got maybe six feet into their range and then you would have died. Died. Horrifically. And if they were really funny as well, because there's stories of... Special Forces units doing this is they don't when they shoot you they don't actually kill you they'll blow your arm off or your leg off and leave you there and then your friend has to come along and pick you up and then they blow your friend's leg off so now you're both lying there and then your next friend has to come along and pick both of you up and then they blow their leg off as well and just leave you there bleeding out and they just form a pile of bodies What if I carried beer, mate, they'd probably, they would actually, for that, they'd actually have a little bit of respect and they'd shoot you outright. And then they'd nick your beer. Yeah, one of the, one of the uh, the rogue agents that we fought at one point was a former Delta Force sniper. I you wouldn't. Are the hunters comical? Yeah, for the gear they wear. <laughs> Fuck <yeah. sighs> right, I I don't care. Right, hold on, let's. Division two hunters. Right. Fuck in hell, these guys. Oh, I can barely fucking breathe. Who's 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 here? Who's 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 picking fights with what? There's like got lots of red mar red marks around here. Oh, I got some bin warriors. Got it. I love a good bit of bin warrior. Who are you? Oh, there. There's taxi graveyard. All nicely captured. We're gonna go hide in the corner now. Boom. Right. Supply room access unlocked. Hey, some hunters for you. Guess who I'm shooting first? 
What, what one do you reckon I'm shooting first? Anyone at all? Hold on, I gotta let this bring the uh, Twitch one up over there so I can at least see the Twitch comments as well. Who am I shooting first? Left one. Why left one? The middle one. Middle one's correct. Why? Closest? No. There's two reasons. Got an axe, clearly mental. That's one reason. Yep. Brought a fucking axe to a gunfight. Right, reason one, fucker brought an axe to a gunfight. Reason two, fucker's got four glowy lights on his chest. He dies first. This one dies next. He's got four glowy lights on his chest, at least from what I can see from this perspective. But at least he bought a gun. One on the left dies last. He at least bought a gun and I can only see three glowy lights. Dumb fucks. And I can guarantee you now, right, these hockey masks that they're fucking wearing ain't going to protect you from an anti-material rifle. They're not. I'm pretty sure the body armor they're wearing, which is like something from like a budget NFL documentary, isn't going to stop a 50 cal weapon. Probably doesn't even stop a spud gun, right? So, Hunter's comedy, right? That's just Division 2, that's the, the recruiter. <laughs> Fucking. This guy, I mean, what are you dressed as? You, you, this, he looks like a geriatric gimp for crying out loud, right? This isn't protecting anyone. It's not. This is probably more concussive damage. This bloody suit or whatever the fuck it is he's wearing. This is absolutely more concussive damage. You can tell by the padding on the arms. Um, the, the, especially on the thighs as well. Like, this is like a very, very poor bomb suit. Very, very poor bomb suit. Something you could use in EOD. So, it would help against, like, a grenade or whatever, but if you shot the fucker, it ain't helping. It's there to, to help against impact, like, concussive impact. So you could probably wail on him all day with a sledgehammer. He isn't going to give a fuck, but if you shot him, he'd care. Well, we wouldn't care if he'd be dead. Like, again, as well, he's got fucking glowy lights all over him. He's wearing a stupid hockey mask. Shoot him and, like, even if this was bulletproof, right? Even if this was bulletproof, Right? That is directly up against his face. Right? That... Now imagine getting hit by a pebble moving at 1,422 metres per second. Right? That's just your average bullet. Right? Okay, it's not going to penetrate, but you're going to have brain damage. You stick your, your, your nose is going to go out the back of your skull. The new carbon nano, like, yeah, it's one, it's fucking expensive. Two, they're not going to have the resources for that. Three, it, the impact. Yeah, great. You, it, that might not penetrate, but you know, I, a 50 cal round, even if this was like fucking Iron Man level shit, 50 cal round hitting that, I'm going to break your ribs. And if it's, it hits you hard enough, it's going to stop your heart. Uh, 50 cal Can we just get like an actual image of it?
Blah de blah de blah. Yeah, your your carbon fiber, mate, as is like it, okay, it might not go through, but your face is still broken. Your face, like, it will kill you. If that hit you in the head, it will kill you. If it hit you in the chest, it will kill you. It won't go through, but it will break every fucking bone in your chest. It will break all your ribs. You are dead. There's a reason we use padding with it. Like, no. Just no. <laughs> <clears throat> I swear, Conting is what? How am I coming up with shit? I'm just telling you, the fucking hunters in real life would would fucking last maybe six seconds. <laughs> no, I'm not high. Oh yeah, it's got to do. Well, if, think of it this way: like birds in real life don't actually have a damage value. You've got fucked up, missed, or dead. My music stopped. That isn't. Wait, so first of all, I'm coming up with shit, then you ask if I'm high, but now it's great content. I'm, I'm, are you are you okay? Are you high? Do you need help? Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Give the man a Snickers. Yes, he's hungry. I am actually quite hungry. You're shit now, fair one. <sighs> and then my first coffee of the day. I don't know what it is, right? Has my sound just fucking disappeared? Like, I can't hear anything. Have I? I no, I can't hear anything. Is my in-game audio still working? Yeah, <laughs> LH6 is not, it, no, that is, that's not how that one works either. What's going on with my sound settings? You can hear the music and in-game stuff. I can't hear shit. I literally can't hear a damn thing. I can't hear the game. I can't hear my music. That's interesting that you can actually hear the mic. I'm really intrigued by that. You can hear the mic. Can you hear the mic right now? Or am I just talking shit? Can you... I'm guessing... And... Ta-da! You can! Wait, you could hear the mic! How about now? Does this is this better? What is going on? It was working fine, and then I went on this rant about how the uh, Division Two story is like absolute fucking trash, and it would never work in real life from like a military perspective, and how Black Tusk would last five minutes, Kelso would be the absolute hero of the day, plus gay music. Wait, I can't hear shit. What is going on? Open volume mixer.
Aha. I'm really confused. You're being snitched on. <laughs> Even the mic couldn't stand the story and fucked off. Go government is playing with you. It probably is. Although the UK is actually uh, looking at sending in conscription. Oh my god, that's going to be so funny. Mate, I've served my time. Get out. I'm done. I don't need to worry about that. Would Seeker Minds be terrifying in the real world? They fucking would, yeah. Grena it's essentially a grenade that follows you. Get fucked. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I, I can hear nothing, which is quite disconcerting, but fuck it. But yeah, a grenade that, like, follows, like a homing grenade. Oh, my God. All that. Hive, I kind of feel like would be a bit weird. I, I would need to know, like... Because a seeker, follow. Mine, we know what mine do. They blow up. And it kind of looks like a little bit like a grenade. I'm not sure how, like, it would split up and follow different people. That could be a bit weird, but maybe, like, a grenade that could, like, home in on a single person on, like, a weird rolly gyroscope ball bearing system. Potential. Something like the Hive, I kind of feel like... Um, would be a one-trick pony. I mean, America has a... I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called. It's got this missile... That doesn't explode. As it draws near to its target, it just goes with a bunch of knives, essentially, like fucking swords, and it just shreds. It's like an. It's basically what the um, America sends after like high profile targets that are like just fuck you in particular. Like they just need to get rid of one guy. I forgot what it's called. It's literally just. A, a missile that just sprouts swords and knives everywhere and then just shreds through a car or your hotel room and it will just shred you to pieces. Like, I kind of feel like that's like the idea of where the stinger would come from, but like, it would be like a mine. You get near it and it just starts like launching knives and whatnot at you. Problem is, it's going to be a lot more compact, a lot smaller. So... I kind of feel like with something like that, if you know where it was, you could just get like a really big, thick blanket and just, maybe not 100% protection, but like, yeah. Just drop that over it to solve quite a bit of the issue. But I forgot what those missiles are called. Missile that. <laughs> Missile that has blades, there we are. The RX-9. RX-9. Uh, missile images. And there we go. Firefox, there you are. That's what it does like a car. Oh. Ah, open image in new tab. That's not new tab. I want just the image. Why? Why? But yeah, it kind of looks like this, especially just a missile that has like, it's really like a, a, a guidance system. It's got a bunch of like spikes and swords on it. And then when it hits, it just, yeah. Obviously things do explode because it's being hit by like some serious force. But, um, the missile itself doesn't explode. The idea is to, like, just remove collateral damage and external casualties altogether. The idea is to just literally just that guy in particular. Fuck him up! But yeah. Google makes us smarter.
Like, if I actually just... Can I find mute my mic? So it is coming from my main mic. It's not being picked up by the um, cam mic. I need to get like a better camera, to be fair. Preferably one that doesn't have a mic. Because I've got no idea what's going on at the moment. It's a bit disconcerting. But oh well. Google makes a smart up. Well, I knew of it beforehand. I just can't remember the name of him. But yeah, there's some uh, absolutely crazy, weird, and wacky things out in the world. Um, there is... There's a laser. Um, no, not a laser. There is a... Couldn't find the Dota 4 sniper. I might be misremembering. No, no, no. I might be misremembering. I remember there being like a special forces, a special group sniper. In one of them. I might just be completely just misremembering. Possible. Probable. It's fine. Um, but it's not a laser. There's like a sound system. That. Um, plays a, a. A sound. And this sound can be attuned for like varying things. There's one where it just like. It's really annoying and uncomfortable. Um, there's one that kind of like. Makes you a bit nauseated. And just generally quite distressing. Oh my god, I can't get anything done now. Jesus Christ. Um, but with this sound system, it always plays the sound at like a certain pitch of where only people under a certain age, because as you get older, the your ear, the, the bones in your ear um, get like deteriorate more. So as you get older, like sounds need to be at a different frequency or understood or heard at a different frequency. Um So, like, when this sound system plays like these... Oh, just punch the mic. When these sound systems play these sounds, you can only hear them below, like, a certain age. And they're used as, like, crowd control devices in certain areas. Um, so that, like, if, like, a younger group is getting a bit rowdy, they just turn their sound system on. And people are like, oh, fuck, what's that noise? But, yeah, only people of, like, certain ages can hear them. Which I find quite interesting like the science behind it but at the same time it's just sort of like what you don't think a 30 year old can get angry so let's look at massive railway spikes from the earth that was a good one uh rods from god um yeah that was canned it, it was weird the u.s was like it first like brought brought the system up in like um like during the cold war era but then they canned it because um Basically, just there was no way to determine the accuracy of like how it would even fucking work, and the expense of it, because they would they would have to use tungsten rods, and like the guidance systems of them would all be wrong. It would, yeah, it just. It was a uh, very interesting proposals. To be perfectly honest, but I don't think it would. Um, I don't think it would actually uh, go that far or anywhere. To be perfectly honest. But yeah, the rod from God is a uh, interesting, interesting idea. If anyone was the uh, the GI Joe, one of the GI Joe films, that actually showed the uh, rods from God to a uh, hilarious effect, like crumpling the Earth's crust and shit. I thought that was really funny. Like, no, it wouldn't do that much damage. <laughs> like, it wouldn't. There's a uh, let's see if I can find it, actually. There's a really good video from Veritasium. I don't know if anyone knows who Veritasium is. Veritasium. Rods. Yeah, Rods from God. There it is. Yeah, at some point, guys. Absolutely. Not now. Obviously, you're, you're too busy watching me. Duh. 
But yeah, at some point, it's a, it's a bit of a long watch. There's a lot of math involved and bloody bloody blah. But fucking what's that? It's really good. It goes through the whole history of it and everything, I believe. USA snipers mostly use McMillan. Yes. But. Under certain circumstances, like uh, the, 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 the TAC 50 is pulled out quite a bit. Barrett's. Uh, it's typically in within, within special forces operations. But if we're, we were comparing it against like a Hunters or the Hunters within Division 2, so like... Oh, here's another one as well actually, right? Where's the fucking cutscene? Where's the fucking cutscene for the recruiter? Division 2 cutscene. Right, is this is this good old GC Rock? I've been so. Come on, mate, show me the cutscene. Here's one that fucking hurts my soul. Right. He, this is the recruiter. Shout out to GC Rock, by the way. Oh, I moved myself out. Wait, no, 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 fucking GC Rock. Right, don't know who he is, and you're a new, newer player. He is absolutely for you there, and definitely check out his community. Uh, they offer some really good help and advice because there's some amazing people in there. However, right, recruiter, this weapon here is a TAC-50. This is a 50 caliber anti-material rifle. He has the stock fucking folded. Would you like to know why this is a problem for two reasons? One, TAC-50 is bolt action. And where it's bolt action, it's typically levered on the right, which you can see poking out right there through the middle of the fucking stock. So basically, you wouldn't even be able to fire this thing because he's got the fucking stock folded. Secondly, right, although it is possible, it is, but you're not gonna be accurate. Firing this thing without it being shouldered properly by use of the fucking stock is either meaning you're useless and you're not gonna hit shit, and that's if you could handle it, or you're probably gonna do some serious damage to yourself. So for those people thinking that the um, recruiters are actually going to be of use in any form of military tactical situations, no, they'll probably kill themselves before they kill anyone else because they're fucking retarded. There we are. That's what we, that's what we think about the recruiters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Cancelled your grinder date to watch this stream? It better be... No. No, it's not. <laughs> Is the Keener outfit out? No, we've got the... Um, oh, what's it called? Theo Parnell. Theo Parnell is where it's at today. I've, I've got no sound. It's really concerning me that I've got no sound, but we're going to push through. We're going to push through. Where are we going? We've got, we got to call the, call the allies. Does it look good? I don't think it does, but then I'm... I'm, I'm a bit of a... Uh, I wouldn't say a fashion critic, but I think fashion's fucking stupid and bad in general. Excuse me, you got a little... Can I shoot your... Thank you. Who are you? Why are you getting involved? It's because I've got no sound. It's so disconcerting. I can't hear or tell where things are... Oh, I need to fix this. This is really doing my head in. Why have I got no sound? Why? It was working fine. Eight, eight inches of what, 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 what?
Game settings? No, I have no sound through PC. I I have a uh, YouTube audio library doing... Yeah, mate, I haven't changed anything. It's literally changed itself midstream. It shouldn't have happened. Like, I don't understand what's going on. No settings have been changed throughout this entire stream. And I started with audio. I now no longer have audio. Why? Um... Who's Susan? Why are we sending Susan a note? <laughs> no, we've already like harassed the supply room, haven't we? I was meant to be checking for loot, I've just been deconstructing it because I'm an absolute monkey. It's really annoying me, that fact that I have no sound. Why? Why do I not have sound? No, still no sound. I mean, yeah, not disagreeing with that, but that part, Ubisoft does tend to break everything. But still. Right, this is actually kind of like, I plan on going for a little bit longer, but this is actually a point where it's like, it's bothering me, and all I can process is the fact that I don't have fucking sound. Um, Where's Toasty? Toasty, why the fuck are you not on? Let's message Toasty. Right, 10 minutes. Toasty's going to be on 10 minutes. If you can bear with me being a fucking bitch and a Girl Scout for like 10 more minutes, uh, we'll uh, send you off to Toasty afterwards and I'll try and figure out what the fuck is going on. It's so unnerving. Like, I can't even hear my... Like, normally, like, when I'm talking, I can, like... It goes... It, I've got a little bit of feed that goes through the mic and then back into my own headset so I can hear myself when talking. Because these headphones are, like, really tight on the ears. Like, I generally can't hear myself talking other than, like... It's, like, quite muffled and... Like, I just... I... It's really... I'm in, like, a... Uh, I'm kind of going crazy. I'm in, like, a deaf room. I can't hear anything. I can't... I'm not getting anything... Any feedback from the mic... I'm not getting the music that I'm playing. I'm not getting anything from the game. It's kind of disconcerting and kind of fucking scaring me at this point. Um, so, yeah. No, the thing is, the, the odd part is when I started out streaming, I, I had the audio. I, had, I could hear my own music. I had the slight bit of feedback. Like, it was all working fine. And then I went on this weird random rant about how the division 2 story is actually really really fucking bad it might be like in terms of like storytelling and like 
fun and engaging and like action-packed and bloody bloody blah, blah but considering the division is meant to be like in a real world scenario it with modern technology or bloody bloody blah, blah whatever it's got tom clancy on it there's like minimal minimal science fictiony stuff thrown in and if it is science fiction it's normally based within some form of advanced science fact just maybe not 100 percent all there yet but yeah, uh, the division uh, apparently has just gone absolutely stupid with it. So yeah, that's what I was like picking on. And yeah, but ever since doing that rant, like it's all it's just stopped. I've, it, it's all gone. I've got nothing. And it's kind of bothering me. I need to figure out why. You play calls it? Could have been. Excuse me. Excuse me. You shot my shield. It's all right though. You did destroy it. You still got it. Do you know what I actually wouldn't mind as a talent, which I feel would be a bit, a bit different. Like you know, like how preservation is like ten percent armor on kill. I wouldn't mind a talent that's like um ten percent shield health on kill. Ooh. Susan that's an interesting name YouTube CEO wait isn't she the idiot that um, tried that spoiled the entire algorithm for like everyone because she had no idea how it worked mine does that when I'm AFK for a minute do you have to change the audio device then uh That sounds like effort. No, it's not a tactical shooter. Stop it with that. Stop it. Bad Bubba. Bad. Requesting backup. All tab with Division 2s are bad. Uh, no, actually, uh, here's, here's one for you. I'm not sure if people know this. Settings. Graphics. You are video, video, windowed full screen. You can you can alt tab all fucking day. Nothing happens. Promise. Look, I'll show you. Look. Alt tab all day. Fucking all day, all bloody day. Nothing happens. Oh, then you know. Don't even get frame drops. It's an RPG that tries to be tactical. It's a looter shooter that tries to be good and engaging. That tells us that there's tactical things in it. No. No. Bad squirrel. She let two commercials happen. Who was the idiot in YouTube, on, in, on the YouTube side of things that was like, I don't know how this works, let's press a button, and it just it stopped working. <laughs> I think it was her, I don't know why. Oh, all my fucking about with all of the uh, buttons has caused all of my tabs to go to the wrong place. <laughs> <sighs> Bubba, I'm gonna guess you're like an ex marine. I don't know why you, you seem like an ex marine. Actually, no, no. You're 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 pretty short to the point, and it's also quite clear you have a sense of humour. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go with army, just U.S. Army. Maybe we went for like para. Maybe we went for like para school or something as well. Hmm. 
I'm intrigued now. Oh, what's home? I do. Everyone must must know that the wife is home. Do you think you have no muzzle loads and bows, mate? I would love a bow. Like, right, here's one for you as to why, like, how people don't actually understand a lot about like how tactical gear actually works, right? Look up like medieval war bow, war bows versus like modern body armor. Promise you. Air Force. I'm guess I'm still guessing the US though. But yeah, look up like medieval bows versus modern body armor. Sheet metal mechanic? Ah Any feature I would actually like some form of like um aggro, like an actual stealth aggro mechanic, because like we've got suppressors and shit. I don't think we can have got Ah, I'm fucking like, yeah, look. There's a suppressor on that, right? It even says it's a dampener. Now, oh, bloody bloody well. Right, but the moment we start shooting bullets, everyone knows exactly where we are. Don't get me wrong, target acquisition is a thing and it can get trained and shared around quickly, but how the fuck did he know I was that close to him immediately and then start beaming? I can tell you now, regardless of how well you are trained. You'll go, huh, someone over there. Who the, f who the fuck's that? Oh, uh, uh, ah. And then you fire. Like, you don't just swivel on a pivot and then start beaming people. A bow would be fun, yeah. So I would like actual target acquisition things. It's a bit like how we act within a game. You know, sometimes it takes a minute to register that they're there. Not, not a minute, but like a second, like a, a double take. How many of you have shot a JTF guy just walking past? But yeah, anyway, seriously, just at some point, seriously look at... Um, what a medieval warbow does to modern body armor. Right. Right. Modern body armor stops bullets. Stops bullets. Can you even get some that will actually stop a 50 cal? Still going to break a few bones, but some that will stop a 50 cal. Right, a medieval warbow goes right fucking through it like it's paper. <sighs> yep. You are in the US? Stronger can shoot all eight people in a raid at the same time? Yes. I, I wouldn't mind that in like, like some sort of tactical minigun. I reckon that's a... That thing. Do that. British mortal. Black task. Just in the toast, he's gone live. Awesome. Uh, which kind of seems like I'm giving my excuse to bail out, but like it, the, the no sound now is really unnerving. It's kind of bothering me to a point of like it's terrifying. Right, and then there's you. Why am I using an SMG at that sort of fucking range? Go on, grab the graveyard. Grab it. Grab it. 
Grab it. Oh, I don't care. We've grabbed it. Right. Raid. Toasty. X. God. There we are. Raid is created. Supply room access unlocked. So, guys, I really do appreciate all of you stopping by. It's been fun. It's been real. I'm really sorry for my sound just wigging out like this. I have no idea what the fuck has happened, but it's really bothering me. Um, for those of you over on YouTube, uh, let me find Toasty's thing. There he is. There's... So for those of you over on YouTube, that's Toasty's Twitch page. We'll have to try and see if we can get him to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. But yeah, have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.